All right. Great God's war call. He's eating hummus. Leave him alone. That guy is eating hummus. <laughs> uh, I am Ira, the collector up. of heads. What the hell happened to this? Why did it get all screwed up? What, what did you do? What did you do? Nothing. The all of the screens like uh, shifted I think, slightly. I think it was the the constant turning off and turning back on the cameras that we kept doing during break. That shouldn't be how that gets affected. Hold well, on. OBS says it should be, so Jacqueline Ash River at your service. Move on. <laughs> okay. right. I guess I'll just fix it while we're fucking going. What? Well, Where are you going? Yeah. Keep going. It's Jordan. Oh, it's me. What uh... are you talking about? Uh, the cameras are like... No, are like... The episode like Charm in Ryder Hopkins. What they were <laughs> at, so now I see like a Red black here. <laughs> below everyone. Go, go, go for it. Okay. And I am your DM. Uh, Welcome back the to Miss Roll Adventures, <laughs> where the players make plans, horribly execute them, and technology fucking hates me. Anyways, yeah. uh, summed it up perfectly. <laughs> where we last left off, um, the party went in to basically murder the Sparks, and that is effectively what the entire episode was. <laughs> we murdered people. The paladin. I thought we killed him unconsciously. I, I actually did a non-lethal blow. Yo, Jacqueline uh, might be a paladin, but Jacob Titus is not a paladin. <laughs> yes. Anyways, with that, uh, the group went in. They investigated very briefly in the tunnels. Uh, found out that the grate actually uh, repairs itself by stretching the the metal that's there to fit the gaps that are broken. <laughs> then, uh, they went in, they murdered a guy that opened a door, <laughs> proceeded to then kill everyone else that was in there, concerned about the bodies twitching, and decapitated them. Went to no, a wall. That's why I stabbed it repeatedly. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, small, I stabbed small dick play. No. I get it, whatever. This is Jordan. <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> But, uh, effectively, they went to the end of the hallway. Gopher went to shove it, or, uh, Felix went to shove it, and it gave way a little bit. Like it was a wall, not, like, a solid surface. Like, something that could move. Like a doorway. Gopher proceeded to do the same thing, found out that it was locked by something. So while everyone, uh, apart from... Uh, I guess while half the group went into the other room to look for the key, Gopher started pounding on it with the back of a sword. Proceeding to make a hole in it where a small hand poked out a little bit in the little gap and sprayed acid at them. I, w I wanted to point that out. Like, did, were those guys just behind that sliding door thing the entire time? Saw it kind of move for a bit? not move for like 10 minutes and just sat and waited like something will happen something will happen maybe <laughs> got it <laughs> Fine. It definitely was not like 10 minutes it was definitely like <laughs> a couple minutes past but anyways that's where we are coming back and uh we just rolled initiative i don't know if anybody put their initiative in though I didn't everyone, have to change everyone want initiative uh yes you definitely yeah. heard the spray of acid Oh. What does this play of acid sound like? Bubbling liquid that uh, is burning away at skin. What does bubbling liquid so uh, burning away skin sound like? Ah! What does ass ah sound like? I, all right, Ryder gets a one for initiative. Finally, so uh, jokes on you. Use... I got a five in front of that, so fifteen. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Five in I front like. of that. That would be fifty-one, smartass. No, that's yes. five in no. front of the one. Yeah. That's a 50. Carry the three. <laughs> Over the two. 69. And four, 20. Jacqueline, did you roll initiative, by the way? I sure did. Okay. I didn't change it because it was the same. All right. I kind of, I was just asking. All right. <laughs> did you actually get a 15, Jordan, or what'd you roll? Yeah, 15. Okay. I actually put you there, so that way I can put it in the correct order. Yeah, I'm lazy. Do it for me. All right, Jacqueline, there's a very small gap, probably about the size of 
I guess the hilt of a blade. <laughs> Not enough to fully put your hand through. But can I see? You can put your ha face to it, looking down, you can see that inside the room, there looks to be a bit of some, uh... Here, I'll actually do this, because... Yeah, well, how much can I see? How much right. can you see? <laughs> no. Oh, this room is not aligned correctly. Hold on. Man, it sure isn't. I'm currently looking at a barrel. How did that guy get his hand through that? <laughs> Just hi hiding in the barrel. <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not gonna be able to move, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Basically, just pre just should, pretend. yeah, just it should be here. I don't know why yeah, okay. it's like fused together. So a bunch of like barrels and shit. Yeah. Okay. Large barrels, a lot of casks. Okay. Uh, you Oof. don't see any of the people though. Oh, okay. Dang it. Th that was gonna determine what I did. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> I may or may not have been wanting to fireball the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> You can pick a point, it still might be within range. You just don't see them. Man. You can pick a point within, a... like, this line of space. <laughs> like, if I did that point, would it get most of the room? Uh, 20-foot radius fireball, right? Yeah. I can tell you, you also... Yep, okay. Uh, 20-foot radius would be... Yeah, that's pretty much, like, the entire room. And then some of this door. Uh, yeah. It wouldn't hit you. It would definitely hit the door. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, if you're doing that, <clears throat> wild magic. Well, hold, hold on. First, I'm going to look to go for an Ira and be like, you would, you might want to stand back. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is going to do. <laughs> Fireball? For, it's your first time using it. <laughs> Burn them. Right. Here we go. Uh, right. wild magic. That's the only thing I need to. Oh yeah. Point blank fireball as well. <laughs> Nineteen. Oh. Just barely, not twenty. <laughs> That's why I went. Ugh. Okay. There goes. I think my only third level spell. Uh, you have. Um, you have should have two third level spell slots. So there goes one of them. Yeah. I, I have... Wait, why do I, I have three on... Oh, right, because you are a half-caster for Paladin. Yeah. It oh, raises okay. your spellcasting level as well. Okay. So your level... Your character's a level seven, right? I Mine still says somewhere, I think, might still say... Because you're level five seven. sorcerer, level two Paladin, right? Am I? I mean, you wouldn't have third level spells known to you oh. unless you were fifth level. Okay. So, yeah, you're a sixth level pal or sixth level spellcaster. Oh right, okay, there, there, there it is. Yeah, sorcerer five, paladin two. Uh, okay. So, picking right no. here. Yeah. There's a you. There's a spin in your candle as you grab it and throw your card through the very thin gap. It just hits the cask right here and, and blows from, up. And from the card, it erupts and explodes out into a purplish flame. Yeah. Uh, all three of them are going to make the dexterity saving throws at disadvantage. Is it disadvantage because they didn't see it coming? <laughs> uh, yes. I'm going to yes. say. <laughs> Not that that necessarily. Here, I got these. Is all the barrels exploded? That would fail. <laughs> no, the barrels do not explode. If that was the I'm... case, then everyone would be dead. Yeah. Okay, that one saves. Still yeah, takes half fails. damage, though. I think saving still takes half damage. Yes. Because it's, you know, fireball. Yep. Fireball is a spicy right. spell. Unless you're like a level and... 17 monk. <laughs> Evasion. Yeah. Evasion. Or something else. But go ahead and roll uh eight D six. Eight D six Jesus. And re-roll ones. Absolutely. Do it. Kill them all. Also, I don't know if the 
if those papers on that desk mean anything <laughs> to the actual game. But Jacqueline might be um, charring more papers that might be important. So, okay. <laughs> we roll that. Is. All of it. Okay, that is seven. Then, you said eight? Eight, yep. Uh, that's 13. Really wish I could re-roll twos. I've gotten a two every single time. That's 20. And last one. 28. All right. As this explosion bursts out, um, you could see, like, from the very small gap, just like a little bit of puff of purple flame just puffs out the side. You peek your eye back in. Everything is coated in fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ground is fine because it's stone. Oh, oh, the casks oh, me are too. on fire, Weed. <laughs> and uh, that's what you see. Here it's also go. hard to initially tell because uh, there's also fire on the door, Ooh. so it's like coasting up a little bit into the spot. So you're kind of getting blinded a little bit by just some flames peeking in. But uh, you definitely heard some screams of agony on the inside. Do it again. Do it. Yay. <laughs> All right. Their turns. Hmm. Aaron, like, plurals. Well, yeah, there, there was three of them in there. There, like, in plural. There, like, singular. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Yo, they're just gonna exactly. stop, drop, and roll, and not move. Can't exactly do a whole, whole lot. Yeah, yeah fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> they weren't exactly expecting just a fireball to coast into the room. I think we are. Yo. We're gonna leave this with nothing. <laughs> you see two people running across the flames in front of you. One okay. looks to be slightly charred, the other one looks completely <laughs> untouched. As they sprint across the room. Vac! Vac! <laughs> which, no. which way do they, they go, go across the room? They go this direction. Oh, there's more stuff over there. Apparently so. And that's their turns. I run. They just run away. <laughs> Now, I could go in there, but that seems foolish. <laughs> that seems like fool. Fooly fools. Just wait for Jacqueline's turn again. She might do it again. <laughs> I'll just be behind you. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I Are will you doing anything? Hold my action, and if they run past again, I will snipe them. Alright, with an Eldritch Blast through the gap? Yes. Alright. You're just, just like, like putting your hands up to it, like, alright, I'm, I'm waiting. We're just <laughs> looking through this fucking. People. Required. <laughs> These right. guys don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> Is anybody in the other room gonna do anything? You heard an explosion <laughs> from the other room. I mean, I guess Felix I'll go check out and see what's happening since it's my turn next. Yeah, we'll just kind of. Move what's on. happening? <laughs> oh, we're having a party. You can see that there's some acid spray on the ground that is burning some of the stone. Most they look mostly okay. Uh, and there's some flames in a very small peephole that you look around the corner in. It's funny because it's pretty dark in that hallway, but then there's like purple light coming through the small gap in the hole. It may look like this was my fault, but it wasn't. I, I, I assure you. <laughs> As the purple candle floats around your head. <laughs> I, I, I assure you, grab the candle. <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh, Ira, how dare you? Are you going to do anything, Ryder? I'll do it again. Uh, nothing really. I don't okay. know what's happening. Alright. Go for it. Are you doing anything? Um, you can wail on the door some more if you want. Uh, are we gonna go in there? That's up to you, Ben. <laughs> you guys wanna go in? Yeah, I wanna go, go in. Go in what? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, like, football tackle up through the door. Like, sh you know, shoulder first. Oh god, this rage. Is you can do it in rage. I do you like it that this always out. happens. I like it that this always happens when Jacqueline and Gopher are basically left alone. 
with the not supervisor that is Ira. <laughs> And they still, Felix still leaves us alone. <laughs> yeah, he, he still left us. I like it. But, um, yeah, that's what I, I shoulder charge through the door. Uh, okay, make a, uh, make an athletics check. You fucking Peyton Manning your way through the door. <laughs> now that the door is weakened, I'm gonna do something different with this. So, what's your athletic? 12. 12? Yep. Okay. So you bring your arm down, you shoulder check into it, and you can hear as it dents outwards. The fire has weakened the opposing side, so your amount of force is actually pushing in on it. Uh, you do not break all the way through, though. Ah. Dang. Do it again. Felix. I'm just going to leave you there, because that's where you have Bonus to action, other shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be oh, my. Ouch, my shoulders. Stop eating your hummus, and... <laughs> Please get teeth. My hummus. <laughs> My hummus. Oh. Stop eating your chickpea butter. Oh, by the way, the bardic inspiration for you, Ira, is gone because it only lasts 10 minutes. So. Yeah. What, you thought I was going to hoard it? No, I was just <laughs> reminding. My. Wait, you thought he was going to hoard it? Hoard it. Yes. Hoard it. My inspiration. My inspiration. I keep it forever. That one chord really stayed with me. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> ah. Come sure that's as far as I can make it. Okay. You don't want to dash. just rounds the corner. What happened? <laughs> All right, Rex. <laughs> as he disappears, and you're muted. I can't hear you. He's not muted. He's not. Yeah, I'm not muted. Oh, I, I was counting. Hear. Okay. Nah, uh, that's a. I'm falling, Felix and Ryder. All right, top of this board, Jacqueline. Do <laughs> Are you doing it again? Uh, Gopher might be slightly in the way. No. Um, Is don't not? do it. No. Do it. Uh, yeah. Don't Wait. do it. They're not going to be in the same place. Don't do it yet. Don't do it. Okay. Do it later. <laughs> <laughs> I hold my action for whatever later means. <laughs> what are you holding your action to do? Not fireball. <laughs> Good lord. I need something no. to go on here. Uh, I'll just uh, hold my action just in case they think of the same um, Adrian Peterson sh shoulder check that we did. Ah, okay. So... To fire bolt. Okay, you're gonna fire <laughs> bolt. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was funny once. You, uh, you hear some, like, wood cat or uh, crackling and, like, movement, but you don't see anything. Ira, is anybody doing anything apart from go for shoulder checking it? Uh, do you think you can get through the wall in your next move? Go for what? For? <laughs> Don't I worry, you're so drunk. He On was your eating next hummus. Attempt, can you get through this door? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hold so. you to that. Or else what? <laughs> or else what? We'll figure it. We'll figure it out, I guess. Oh Gee. no! There's uh, another hoop that we shall jump through when it when it arrives. Right, I'm gonna are you doing anything? misty step through okay. the, the the hole. The gap. Oh, he's going. Oh, that's what's happening. All right. Um, I will no longer there. be fireballing the rope. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can teleport into there. You can see. Let me put them down. They are cowering above the caskets. <laughs> what cowards? It's as if they got blown up or something. <laughs> You see two of them. Just two. Just two. Just, just two. two. How many ran past? It was just two. It was just two. Smile. I am afraid. I know there's more. Tee hee. She doesn't know there's more. Whatever. <laughs> uh, you can uh, see that on that desk, uh, were paper. <laughs> oh, there was, there it. was paper here. There was paper and a candle that is now burning faster. 
everywhere. There should be more candles. There's definitely uh, more wax everywhere. Yeah. Be literally going... liquefied wax everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to make this easy for you. Stand down and come peacefully. Or, well, <laughs> there will be a lot more fire. Are you, TV. uh, <laughs> are you lying or trying to persuade them? Do you have the intention uh, to kill them anyways? I guess is the better question. Oh, yeah, actually. totally. <laughs> All right, so make a deception check. <laughs> 26. All right. All right. You don't know. You don't know what that's gonna do, but that is. You are convincing them. You are convincing. Very convincing. Be convinced. You're convincing them. Very convinced. Uh, Ryder. Okay. Well, I had an idea, but no. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. A body can inspiration go for. All right. Uh, for shoulder check. Uh, nice. Shoulder check. Get in there, buddy. Yeah, you, can, you now have a D8 <laughs> yeah. that you can roll with your athletic check if you so choose. You can decide after you roll if you don't think it's going to be high enough. Uh, uh, no, that's okay. okay. Now I'll pass okay. you the rock. All right. Go Ooh. for Okay, it was an 18. It was an 18? Are you using yeah. the D8? Do it. Do, Do it. it. All in. Yeah. All in. Go all in. All right, roll the oh, D8. Boy. Roll it. And it was a two. Dirty 20. That is the number you needed. As nice. you slam the shoulder in, nice. you hear the slight little twinkle in the back of your head from Ryder, just one note. Ding. Although at this point, it's not really quiet, so. It's not quiet anymore. So what is the ting for? <laughs> you still, still got to do a bardic thingy. Ding. But now you headbutt, basically. You charge through the wall and burst in. <laughs> Completely burst through over on this side because this is this room is supposed to be to the left. Some I don't know why oh, okay. it shifted to the right, but it did. Uh, somebody, so yeah, basically. basically. So basically, right. we just teleported through the wall. To the, okay, can okay, I use my bonus? Huh. You still got movement and bonus action. Yeah, oh, that was an okay. attack, apparently. Well, it was an action to charge, so. Okay. So in reality, you've only used like five Actually, feet yeah. of your movement. Uh, I'll just key. Okay. So to clarify on like where they are, they are 15 feet up because oh. Oh. the uh. way that uh, this room is set up, there's two layers of the big casks. So the bottom layer movement? is the big. Yeah, you can change your mind. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'll st <laughs> okay. It's the same with uh, th this pile as well, although this one is not, and the one that's standing next to you, Gopher, is not. Those are just uh, uh, large casks that are round out to be about 10 feet. Oh, okay. okay. So in total, they're 15 feet up, and uh, these go up 15 feet in total. Okay. Uh, that's... All right, Felix, you heard a splintering crash. Like for the TD Speed the Ninja Turtles? Yes. That's as far as I can get. Okay. You could dash if you so choose. Well, he does. I don't. <laughs> okay. Rex. I ain't going in that room without a being able to defend myself. I ain't going in that Fair room without a enough. fire extinguisher. <laughs> Rex. Uh... 30, bonus action. Yeah. Let's go right here. here. Huh? Are you going into wind stance? Is that how you're... Because you said bonus action. I don't know what that meant. Oh, I meant action to dash. Sorry. Oh, okay. So you use your action to dash. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to wind stance. Uh... Oh. Huh? 
<laughs> that car was upset that you weren't going into Winston's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Jacqueline. It's my turn. It's your turn. I will, um... Go in and throw a fireball. Well. <laughs> Do it. Well, now that you said it. <laughs> <laughs> She's, uh, going to very haughtily walk mm. in with fire on her palm and just walk right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's it. Uh, actually, hold up. Quick question. Uh -huh. uh, would she have heard um, Ira's threat? Yes. Okay, cool. That's why she did that. Okay. To to to, sh to show that fire could <laughs> could occur. happen again, yes. <laughs> but not look like. Ira was completely lying by rushing in, <laughs> rushing to one of them like, I want to I'm <sighs> going back. <laughs> Why would they oh, throw a fireball at us at the moment right now? Their turn. Jacqueline. Uh -oh. To your right. Uh-oh. You hear the sound of wire. Hey. Like... I don't like that. Like, like a like long that. stretch of wire. Zip line. Got it. Okay. But you don't <laughs> you don't see anything. You just hear. Ryder and Felix. Yes. Oh. To your left, you see two charred corpses. With headless figures. Stand up barely touching the ground. Like their tiptoes are on the ground. Mm. Ooh, marionettes, you say. Creepy. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Iowa, we may have an issue in here. <laughs> Best is message. <laughs> right, I uh, need you to make a dexterity saving throw. And Jungle, both of them I'm in charge straight at you as if, oh. like, body ramming devices. Oh, haha, ha, I got a 19. Okay. So you do oh. dodge out of the way. <laughs> what does this devil may cry? As it slams into the wall, their limbs completely like clattering up against OT. it. And then suddenly they reposition themselves back up, even though you can clearly see bones are broken and their body is disformed. Um... We may have a problem, Felix. And you heard that sound generally over here. They're over there? Yes. Oh. Foul necromancy. This one is going to leap across. Jumping on top. Flying leap. Jumping on top. And... Pulling from his side, he pulls up his sleeve, and you see another arm-like device with the contraption on the side, although it cool. looks different. Pulls the of latch course. and twists it, and Rex, you see this shock, or this uh, uh, almost claw shoot out towards you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Alright, cool. Man, Rex is just getting bullied today. I know, right? I say as I blew up this entire room. They didn't know who blew it again. up, but... I got 18. 18? Okay, that's enough to dodge. As you, like, move out of the way, you can see the claw clatter into the ground, and it starts to, like, shock slightly. You can see a little bit of electricity coursing through it. As it yeah. pulls himself in, he pulls on the cord, and it shoots him down towards the ground in front of you. Jacqueline... He takes uh -huh. a blade and tries to stab at you. I stab at thee. Okay. Hello. Um. Twelve. <laughs> Nine. That does hit. <laughs> does, Don't that, does, that hit does that hit you? No. no. <laughs> he goes to stab and you just... It, it hits, like, the armor. 
and it does nothing, and you don't it, even. It, it hits. It, it hits bark because that's the armor I'm wearing. Yeah. Cuts into like a bit of wood, and there's like almost a confusion. But when he looks up at you, you can see those just glossy eyes over its face. Oh, over his face. Over his face. Ah. This one leaping across. Brother. <laughs> Gopher, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw with advantage as he pulls out from his sleeve a similar effect and shoots okay. it towards you. These guys be blitzcrank. Eight. 14? 14 is not enough. It You go to dodge, but it grabs you by the arm. And in that oh, no, brief no. moment, it shocks your entire arm and makes you almost feel numb to the core. For the rest of this round, you are stunned. But he's so wow. used to lightning. Yeah, but he's not in Wildborn. Not. <laughs> if he was Wildborn, he'd be immune to stun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just predict it, forehead. So basically, <laughs> you are feeling this electronic, this electrical pulse going through you, and he pulls himself to you with a blade in hand and makes an attack against you with advantage because you are stunned. Well, wait, I forget how Wildborn works. Is it an action or it's bonus a bonus action, action to do? on his turn. And he has to be not incapacitated otherwise to do it? He he will recover at the end of this. It stuns oh, okay. him for the one dashing attack, basically. Oh, got it. Uh, to give them advantage. Uh, so does a 28 hit? No. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to roll anyways, just because. Uh, and because this, he had advantage, he does add his sneak attack to the damage die. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> you take 18 points of piercing damage as he slides in, stabbing up at you. After the stab, you can see the claw detach from your arm, and you can feel that body, your body starting to warm back up, and you start to feel feeling in it once again, and it slinks back into his arm. I didn't take any damage that round, did I? Nope. Okay. I run. They do not seem to either recognize your threat or care about it. Well, that's fine. My threat will continue to be a threat. Uh, inflict wounds. Okay. <laughs> classic. classic 3d10. Classic 3d10 if you hit. Is that a natural 20? That is. Or is that a natural 20? Going to hit. <laughs> so now do your 6d10. I love dice. Uh, you are casting this though, so do a wild magic search. Wild, wild magic check. Do that now. A 12. Okay, nothing. Uh, 25 points of necrotic damage. Alright, you bring your hand up, you touch the side of his face as he's leaning down, trying to stab at Jacqueline, only to be kind of motionless. You bring your hand up to his face, and you just see this pulse of purplish-black veins coursing down his neck and up to his arm and fingertips. Uh, very hurt. Very hurt he, by that. He... You can also see this was the one that was also charred slightly, that ran past. <laughs> So, already not having a good day. You should have just chosen to surrender. Oh well. Anything else that you would like to do? Nope. Alright. Ryder, you see these two figures are being mm. dangled in the air, as it seems. Uh, Felix, I think we need to go regroup with the others. Do you agree? Oh, your face is full of hummus. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Felix just crouched like a gremlin in the fucking <laughs> corridor eating hummus. I was, oh, I was he opens sure. up one of the bottles and there's just hummus in it. He's pouring it into his hand. <laughs> well, Felix, I think we're going to regroup the other stuff. So I'm going to grab Felix. I'm going to the bench your door. I'm going to bench your door. Probably. Let's go. Let's go down here. So if you're going to be dragging somebody, even if it, even if they're not like unconscious or anything, it's half your movement. For dimension okay. door? Oh, you're dimension dooring. Yeah, I'm dimension dooring. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear that. Never mind. Oh. 
Yes. So I heard. Well, I heard. Stop being deaf. I'm sorry. I'm deaf. What? Get over here, Felix. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, but yeah. Well, Felix, are you accepting? Yes. <laughs> okay. Poof. You appear. Oh there. no. Uh, Tyler didn't hear because Max's hummus was too funny, <laughs> too loud. That's some funny hummus to hear. You know, I'm gonna stop muting whenever I cough. <laughs> oh no, I forget you're sick. I'm sorry. All right, uh, that's that's it for me. Yep. We gotta we gotta find out what those things are connected to. I think it was around down there. Boo. Go for who? You have who no idea where it was. This? You have yeah, no like, idea where it was. It was. Oh, uh, I don't. Okay. Jacqueline Unless heard it. Fun. Barely. Anyways. But I, no, you're not still. Point. You're not stunned. You are recovered. Oh god. The stun only lasts for that round or that turn, so that way they can effectively get a blitzing attack against you. He's a mumu. A mumu. Yeah. A what? All right. Who? A mumu. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Wait, what? It's um, the mummy. So... Like... Never mind. Don't think. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brain is melting. Don't, don't worry about remember. it. Anyways. But, um, I'm gonna, you know, rage. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna, you know, rage. All right, yeah. Uh, you're raging. Reckless attack this motherfucker. All right. Go ahead and make two attacks. Come oh. On. Oh, my goodness. With advantage on both. 23. That's going to hit. And, uh, oh. A 19? That will also hit. Cool. Um, <laughs> where's all my f dice? Okay. I got it. I don't know why, but I can't remember who a boomer is. <laughs> you probably should play League again to find out. No, that's never happening again. I seriously can't remember who Mubu is, so... Uh, 21. 21 points of damage as oh, yeah. you... <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, bring Wildheart straight across his chest twice. Uh, slinking back a little bit. He still stands. Felix! I'm gonna shoot the one I can see. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Oh, yeah. Did you just look? Did you just look him up? No, I, I sent him. No, I yeah, sent him a, sent a picture of it. <laughs> I sent him a picture. I of forgot him. about him because yeah, he's got like all the emotion stuff, right? Like, no, yeah, yeah, he's sad. I rolled a twenty-three. I'm pretty sad, sure I yeah. hit him. Uh, you know, weirdly enough, his armor class was uh not above 22 which was the previous attack i think you're good he takes 18 damage all right you fire two shots <laughs> and this flame engulfs upwards you can see that uh the fire itself is still uh burning at him he's still hurting but still standing are you doing anything else nope all right rex uh I'm just gonna attack this one in front of me. That, right. that attacked Jacqueline. Go ahead I tried and to. Uh, I tried to. roll to attack. I Are you re attacking three times? Oh yeah, you're using your bonus action to attack too. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm attacking them three times. So. Uh, roll, uh, roll them one at a time. Roll them one at a time. Yeah. I'm guessing he doesn't have that much health. <laughs> well, it's not that, but it's more dependent on like, I guess. If you, you can, guess. if you can kill him within two attacks. Probably not going to do it the first one. Wow. Natural 20, 30 damage. <laughs> 13. 13 will miss. Alright, second attack. Oh, his hair moved. 14. 14 will miss. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I do like it that Calvin looks like he's in a fog that looks like a room. <laughs> 28. <laughs> All right, that, but, uh, you know, that one will hit. <laughs> 10. 
10 points of damage as you slide up. You bring your blade across him twice. And almost unnaturally, he just slides out of the way of the first two swings. But you stab upwards. And right as he's about to slide, you reach your arm out and get just like stab it straight into his abdomen. You pull can. it out, but he's still still stand, still standing. Almost is still stabbing. <laughs> still stabbing. Stabbing. All right, top of the initiative order. Okie dokie. Um, what kind of action or anything will I have to do? Is he still kind of looking at me? Yeah. Okay. What kind of like action, bonus action, free action, I don't know, whatever. What I have to do to just kind of like. You know, so over his pass face. your hand yeah. over his face to see if he Just reacts like, at all. I'm gonna say it's a free action. <laughs> I'll do that, and I'll try to pay close attention to his eyes. They do not move. Good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um. Also, I, being this close and looking straight out of his eyes, you've noticed that he's not blinking either. Some people can not blink for a while. I don't. I suppose it has only been six seconds. <laughs> this motherfucker hasn't blinked in six seconds. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> well, you would imagine, like, eyes closed in pain or something, but... Uh, he is half on fire. <laughs> and stabbed through the abdomen. So it's, like, either incredible pain tolerance or uh, he's dead. <laughs> uh... Do we see the other charred ones floating outside the door? Uh, yes, you do. Oh, goody. Okay. The charred ones. The charred headless ones. <laughs> oh no, the um, head inside my bag is going crazy! <laughs> <laughs> the bag is just going crazy! <laughs> Let me out! How strange these are over. I I do believe that attacking um, those that are currently in front of us is pointless, since they are already probably dead. I did, however, hear a noise, and I point over in this over in this direction. <laughs> you just hear a fuck. <laughs> um, oh, I did. say <laughs> that we get rid of the puppet master first. <laughs> I'm not over here. Perhaps. It's, so it's, like wiz- it's like Wizard of Oz. Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> Ignore the man operating in the machine. Don't look over here. <laughs> Don't do Ignore it. Ignore the man pulling the strings. <laughs> Are you going over here to see? Because this is basically like to... a wall. You know, I'm not only going over there to see, but this guy's going to have a real bad day. I the have one. I have two more level three spells, oh my, my friend. That is very true. And he is at least 20 feet away from uh, right here. That is. I don't also... know about I don't know about over here, but well, that's, that's all. That, that, they've got a. It's um. It's not 20 feet up, okay. but it's 10 feet up. It's like of, a solid uh, wall. Of, it's like a solid wall of like several rows of bottles. Okay, because I was gonna say it's like uh, I don't know about these bottles here, but that's a Felix problem. That, it's <laughs> a lot like. Um, Imagine grocery store aisles. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna... He can do the whole initiative attack thingy. Yeah, attack of initiative. Or attack of opportunity. Attack, yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, just, you know, here's a card, my friend. <laughs> uh, will a 28 hit? What? 28 to hit you? Attack of opportunity. To hit me? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, well. Okay. Okay. Uh, you suffer eight points yeah. of piercing damage. Yeah, Jordan. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So is uh is a fireball occurring over there? Uh, just maybe. <laughs> uh, make a wild magic check. Oh, I I hope it's gonna. <laughs> you can tell that uh he is slightly charred, but not a lot. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay. We're good. We're wild magic. Okay. I'm gonna get my deep sixes ready. Yeah, get your deep sixes. Uh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Because as you go to fire it, you can see 
unnaturally, his body shoot up to the ceiling as you go to fire it, as he okay. evades the attack and it explodes upwards. He can in evade he in evasion. a ceiling room. Oh. Rogue bullshit. Assassins, perhaps. People wonder why I hate this game. <laughs> okay, well, that was my turn. You do still have some more movement and a bonus action if you so choose. Can I use a bonus action to fire fireball at him again? Uh, no. Well... Mm. No. I was trying to think of the twin spell, but no, that's that's like a single target can't. I would fire two. <laughs> well, would I? <laughs> well, would I think I twin two? spell lets you cast the spell at the same it can't, time. It can't target multiple people. Yeah, I think it has to be a single people. target spell. But quicken spell. Okay. I mean, yeah, it would make fireball a bonus action. But That's it's true. also a leveled spell, and you can't do bonus action with leveled spells. Well, you can't cast two spells that are at the same yeah. level, or at uh, spellcasting levels. Alright, well... Uh, I'm, po can... I'm pointing at him! <laughs> Here, I'll let you use... Um, you could use... Because we can just alter some stuff. You could use uh, Quicken Spell for the Fireball, and then use Scorching Ray from your uh, Tiara. Sure. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Make three like attacks. A... I like it when my DM makes deals with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, these are things your character would be able to think of. I... And have my character play her. <laughs> I can't think of them. I mean, I, um, I feel like you probably just forgot about the tiara. I just don't ever use Quicken Spell because I only have five of those. And I think Quicken Spell is two of them. That is true. And also... Yeah, I really don't think of the tiara because it has its own spell DC and all that shit. I'm like, yeah, its spell save DC is 15. So you do fire three of them though, or it doesn't have spell save DC. It has a plus seven to attack. All oh, right, right. It, yeah, it has its own spell attack bonus. Yes, which is one higher than mine, I guess. If it's plus, I thought it was plus five. It might be plus five. It's probably plus five actually. Anyway, yeah, sure. I'll do the fireball thing, bonus action, okay. quick and spell. And then I'll do the tiara thing since it doesn't count as um door spell. Yeah. Also, would I also be able to use a reaction? Yeah, you would have been able to. Okay. Does um even though I said that attacking these things was bullshit, does hellish rebuke is that a level two thing, or or is it? Uh, no, that's your base off your racial feat. Okay, I'll just hellish rebuke That's the racist. guy who attacked me since he hit me. Cause fuck okay, it yeah. Uh, so dex save on his part. Yeah. Uh, that is a fail. He got a five. Plus whatever. That's not going to be enough. So. Okay. So How you, much is that? Uh, that is 3d10 for level two hellish rebuke due to your racial feature. Uh, yes. Uh, 3d10. Three yes. D10. Okay, so that's 12. Uh, 18. 18. All right. As uh, the flames course up down from the ground, uh, you can see him slink to the side slightly, and it does catch him, but not enough, or not a lot, but it still is enough to completely burn that side of his body, and you see him fall limp backwards. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, and then Scorching Ray. Yes. Three attacks I... plus five. I forget. Do I have the thing here? Circle of Blasting. Okay. Okay. And it's 2d6 fire damage for each one that hits? Yes. Okay. And I have to roll three times or just one? Three times. Three times? So let's roll in a plus five. That is a nine. That will unfortunately miss. Uh, that is a 22. That will hit. That will miss. 
And uh, that is a dirty 20. Also will hit. All right, so 4d6 fire damage. Reroll ones. If I don't get a one, I get a two. Uh, it's just... <laughs> 4d6? 4d6, yes. Eight. Okay. Uh, 13. 13 points of fire damage as you fire these shots from your circlet. They slam into the body as he went to upwards to dodge the fireball. They, as he's coasting back down, they slam into him. All right. Oh, if it, and if it wasn't apparent, since it doesn't seem like we're being stealthy anymore, um, Jacqueline is the human torch. All right. So if they <laughs> attack you with melee, you burn them. Yes. All right. Probably good against the people who attack with melee. Uh... <laughs> Because, speaking of which, uh, okay, so, these ones, from up here, slide. You can hear, once again, the whirring of a wire. Jacqueline, Felix, Rex, basically everyone now can hear whirring of wires. It almost sounds mechanical as they slide across this invisible string and slide through this passageway. Uh, do do I see this guy move at all? That one, not yet. Uh, Rex, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as this one charges straight through. Sixteen. Sixteen is not enough. As he slides down, you turn your shoulder and it collides with you. When he hits you, it's almost as if you just got hit by a moving vehicle, like a horse-drawn carriage slammed into your back. You are knocked prone, knocked from your space to a nearby unoccupied space, and uh, suffer... Twelve points of bludgeoning damage as this body slams into you with such with such force. And a truck is only twelve damage. Dang. Yeah, but I chuck off. A horse drawn, a horse drawn carriage. Oh. Yeah, but you're a commoner. You only have like four HP. Oh, true, you guy. <laughs> uh, the body Can continues to slide as well, slamming into this giant um, casket. When it does, you can see that it dislodges itself by like reattaching bones into positions and when it does you can actually see inside the casket as it seems either there's uh, larger objects in it there aren't uh, a liquid oh. this one slides down and is going to make two attacks against you Ira bring it bring it uh, Do it. okay, both are 19. He brought it! Okay. Yep. That'll do it. You suffer. I will do, pig. You take 18 points of bludgeoning damage as these two limbs <laughs> hit you with such a speed that seems unnatural. Ow. Owie. Owie. Ow. Uh, that guy's burned to a crisp. This one, Jacqueline, is going to slide up to you and is going to bring forwards a uh, okay. a blade. Not a dagger like the others. It has like a almost a yellow tint to the blade itself. And you can see that the handle has a, uh, a small coursing or a gold inlay to it when he holds it in his hand. Do I see his face? You do, and he has the same glossy eyes as the others. Okay. Brings the blade up towards you. He's going to make the attack twice. Uh, one is a 17, the other is a natural 20. Mm. Uh, the natural 20 um, it gets blocked by my uh, glamour. Ah. All right, I'll take it. Uh, uh, but the 17 <laughs> does actually miss. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. 
Oh, good. Poison. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spout a hot take here. These guys suck. Yeah. Yeah. You fought the Sparks only one other time, and they sucked then too. Uh, but they yeah. were actual people. That is true. Uh, it's t 12 for constitution saving throw. That is going to fail. You have the poisoned condition. Okay. Uh, so basically every melee attack you make has disadvantage, or every attack roll you make has disadvantage, and Good. targets, uh, have advantage on the attack against you. Good. Wonderful. You do, you do suffer by, uh, eight points of piercing damage and two points of poison damage. Okay. Uh, right. This one, Gopher, is going to stab at you with advantage because you recklessly attacked him. Yeah. He's gonna stab at you twice here. Uh, yeah, be both are at a dirty 20. You piece of shit. <coughs> Bless you. All right, first one coming at you with a sneak attack added to it. Uh, you are raging, so this is halved. Uh, 12, 17, 21, 22, plus 4, You take 13 points of uh, piercing damage from the first Whoa. attack. Second attack. Uh, you suffer three. Oh. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Tyler, I just thought of something. Huh? Okay. I was like, of of the two bodies that came back and came after uh, Ryder and Felix, mm -hmm. it wasn't one. It wasn't the one I cut open, was it? <laughs> no, it was not. The one that you cut open was the one that was in the room. This okay. one was. These are the two that were killed outside the room. Okay. Yeah, no, that'd be disgusting. <laughs> that would have. That would have been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> would have been even worse than what it already is. They're already headless. Uh, all right, that is their turns. Ira, Spectre. Uh, Jacqueline as well. Now that he's moved, you can see there looks to be like a cylindrical device on the wall where he was standing. Suspicious. Okay. Disturbing. Uh, bonus action: apply a wrathful smite. Uh, and then as an action, I will swing my sword upon that, that dude. Uh, alright, with Wrathless Might, make a, uh, wild magic check. Wild magic, ten. Ten? Nothing happens. That is... Twenty-three. To hit. Twenty-three. That will hit. Smites are a d6, correct? Uh, I believe Wrathless Might is, yes. 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 Yes, good. Good. Yes. Yes. Uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, he failed. What would it do? Oh. Uh, he's frightened of me. Okay. He's, uh, he's immune to frightened, so. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> uh, 18 points of damage. Alright. As you stab this thing... Uh, you can see that the energy from your blade punctures through it and you rip down. You see uh, that the lower half of the body goes limp. But the upper half? But the arms are care. still moving and it seems to still that's be nice. functioning. That's, that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll just stay here. All right. Rider. I well, there's the one in front of me, so I'm just gonna pokey poke with the rapey rapey. All right, go ahead and make an attack. <laughs> no one's gonna make a comment what I said. No. You say weird things all the time. I yeah, don't care I anymore. Don't, uh, <laughs> I don't like it. I can say that. Oh, uh, dirty twenty. That's going to hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. What are, are you gonna use your whisper whispers? 
Uh, no. Actually, no. No. Uh, wispy, nah, wispy. Wispy, wispies. Ha cha! Ooh, almost, man. Because that is, oh yeah, I gotta also roll this. Yep, your d4 for thunder damage. Shut up, did I ask you, Tyler? I'm just saying it out loud. 13 Damn. points of damage. Alright. You Not stab much. forwards, and just like you see with what Ira did, the legs go limp, but the upper arms are still moving. Hmm. Uh. Who's hurt? I haven't really been. Tell who's hurt. Uh, everyone. Probably, mm. for a fair amount at least. Mm -hmm. Who's more hurt? Gopher got everyone. stabbed a lot. Jacqueline got uh, shanked for a little bit. Ira got slapped around. Uh, I think Felix is okay. Yeah, Rex is hurt a lot too. <laughs> Alright, fine. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll heal and word you, Rex. I'll do a level two. Alright, roll Can wild magic. Wow. wow. Level two. If only magic. Wild word. magic. Only wild, wild magic can save us now. <laughs> Dang it. Nine. <laughs> he uh. really doesn't want to heal me. Well, no, that was for the wild magic. Let's see. Three. <laughs> Cal, but it looks like Six, you're standing ten. directly in front of a lamp. Ten points of healing. Ten points of healing. Am I ten saying points. what? <laughs> it looks like you're standing right in front of a lamp. <laughs> I am. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Ghosts! Oh. Alright. Oh, are you gonna move anywhere or are you done? How much you hear me, Jordan? Ten. What? Yeah, ten. Are you doing any are you gonna be moving anywhere? All right, go for it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fin try to finish this guy off with the reckless attack. All right, go ahead, make two attacks. One of the first hits miss with the eleven. Yep, that will miss. With but, advantage, um, right? You're rolling with advantage with reckless. Oh. Okay. Nah, it's still booty. Oh. Uh, <laughs> a 15? A uh, 15 will unfortunately miss. And then, oh, okay. A 25? Uh, that's going to hit. Uh. Seventeen. Seventeen. Alright, so you bring your blade, once again, wild heart, straight across the side, and punctures into him. You pull it out, still standing, though. Dang it. You can still move, you have a bonus action if you would like, you could disengage, you could do anything, run okay. around. I'm on. Okay. Felix! Could be. Felix, you okay? You okay, Max? He's probably coughing. I bet. He's been sick for like the last week. I'm sure talking oh, how much doesn't I can... help. What? Um, for the coughing, I'm sure talking doesn't really help your throat yeah. <laughs> at all. Uh, that doesn't affect it. It's, oh, okay. It, it's just a dry, guttural cough. Ugh. Mm. Trying Everyone... to expel stuff that ain't in me. Ugh. Water. Water oh, wow. is your best that friend, my friend. Off. I have lots of bottles. Like the bottles over there? You got 15 here in the uh, bag of holding. Have you considered dual-wielding water bottles? All right, fourteen in the bag of holding. Well, what did you do with the old, with the other one? I threw it at you. Mm. You threw it to the sky. That's right. Hope you're enjoying the fizzy drink. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm enjoying the sparkling ice that you handed me. <laughs> hashtag hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> hashtag yep. Hashtag ooh. -woo. <laughs> Look, I drink enough of them. All right. Every time I go to the gas, uh, grocery store, I see the wires. Controlling these people. Wires. Uh, you do not. You do not see any wires. Because they're magical. <laughs> I tried cutting the wires. You can try swinging in the air. <laughs> oh. 
I ain't got anything better to do. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and make an attack roll. 17. Alright, you swing in the air, nothing happens. There's no resistance, there's no feeling of hitting anything. <sighs> Good. I gotta read how this works again. Who's the lowest right now? So, Rex? Uh, probably Rex, yeah. He's lost like a bunch of hope. 40 hit points. You're gonna get uh, 2d6. What should he use? That he is in the celestial healing dice for his warlock. Yep, mm -hmm. you get eight. Eight health. Speaking of Rex, it is your turn. Full of vigor. What are you gonna do? Mm. I'm just gonna. So this one charged me at, at me, right? Yeah, that's the one that slammed into you. Three attacks. All right, go ahead and make your attacks. Twenty-four, twenty-two. Both hit. Five. Five will miss. 25. Oh, 25. That will hit. <laughs> oh, so, tw oh, 25 will miss. <laughs> <laughs> no, that will definitely hit. I only heard five. I think I can't get five. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you really can't. Like, the lowest yeah. you can get is like an eight. Depends on how the hand of God 11 is. 11 is my lowest. 11? What are you talking Nine plus about? Two. Well, I mean, if you get a natural one. Yeah, the natural one's an automatic fail. Well, yeah, three. Okay, fair enough. Anyways, your three attacks. Twenty-eight points of slashing damage. All right, as you bring your first blade across, you cut across the chest. You can see the the arms go limp. Second swing, you see the head drop limp. And then when you stab the third time forwards, the entire body falls limp back onto the ground. All right. Um, oh, so that you know, I just got up too. It's all half movement and stuff. Yep, you got up. Could, are you and... going to move? Right here. All uh, right. 10, 15. This one's going to get an attack of opportunity on you, though, if you do. Oh, I forgot about that one. I'm not going to move anywhere then. Okay. <laughs> Help me. Jacqueline. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. I can't do it. I know. Um... Cylinder thing is suspicious. Um, hmm. You know what? I'll just, uh. I'll swing at him with this guy with uh, Moon Shadow, I guess. Okay. Go ahead and. I. Oh, yeah. Oh, Uh, what do you think. What does Searing Smite do again? Uh, it lights them on fire. Okay. Um, I will expend two charges of my, my gloves. Yeah, gauntlet of smite. Assuming I still have them. Yep, you sure um, do. You still do. To do searing smite, and I will uh, th swing at him, aiming for, like, his... 
heart area. Is, is trying aiming to aiming for some some damage. All right, yeah. go ahead and roll to attack. I forget what is it like plus seven or something for moon shadow. Uh, it should be your dex plus proficiency plus moon shadows plus one, I believe. Why did I not write this down? Oh, it's plus five. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, that is a twenty-one. That is going to hit. All right. So that's the D twelve plus whatever Searing Smite does. Let me double check, but I believe it's a D six. Yeah, I don't have it up here, so. S S S S S S yes, it adds another D6 of damage. Mage. Uh, causes hard to ignite at flame. The start of its turn, they have to make constitution saving throws, and when they fail, they take another D6 of fire damage. Okay. And then, uh, uh, just because this guy has um, wronged her in a past life, apparently, uh -oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to Divine Smite as well. At what level? Uh, uh, this, uh, just, just level one. Okay, still another two damage, though. 2d, uh, 2d8. So 2d8? D12. A d12, a d4. D4, d6, and 1d6, d6 and 2d8. <laughs> I do a lot of damage a length. <laughs> okay. All of my dice. So, kaboom. Okay. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, uh, twenty-two. 22, as you bring the blade up and slice straight across, up straight into it, you bring the blade upwards and the tip of Moonshadow coasts into his chest and swings up, making a massive gash. He's still standing, but barely. Uh... Still able to use a bonus action, right? Oh, yeah. Can I use a? Can you still do like divine smite and all that crap for? Oh no, I can't use a bonus action because it's searing smite. Never mind. Oh right, yeah, when you use the gauntlet of smite. My my gauntlets of smite take a bonus action. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Your yeah. your divine smites though, uh, don't actually take an action, so you can just add them, whenever, as long as you have spell slots. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He was saying like if you made like a second hit. Yeah, like another mm. hit. Like a I always hit. wait to hit and then I'm like, alright, fuck this guy, Divine Smite. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do when you get a crit and you're just like, I'm gonna fully charge Divine Smite this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's when the bad things happen. Okay. So That's when Jacqueline does like eighty damage in one one swing. Oh uh, yeah, that's <laughs> uh that's bad news. Alright, go for He's gonna take two swings at you. With advantage, I threw a d20 on the floor. Ignore that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yes. Real quick. Yes. These, uh, these dudes are, um, they are, are not, not, they are not undead? They are not undead. Okay. I knew where you were going with that, and I was Damn. like, it's, yeah, it's still only 2d8, not an extra one. <laughs> uh, will a 28 hit go for? Yes. I think so. Yes, that is the that question. <laughs> I will answer it for you. Don't worry. It does not hit because he is too mad. <laughs> too mad? Too, too much anger. Those are, those are kind of poo poo dice. Uh, okay. Uh, 4, 6, 12, 18, plus 1. You take 11 points of uh, piercing damage from the first swing. I'm gonna make a second attack. I, I threw another d20 on the floor. Uh, will a 19 hit? Or 20, dirty 20 hit? Uh, I don't know. 
You take uh, <laughs> three points of, of piercing damage from the second swing. Wait, is it, can I use my ferocious re re retaliation on this guy? Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well. Uh oh. I think the alarm's going off. Oh my god. Oh god. It's, it's oh no. Hard. It's done. Uh, okay. that is when you are in a furious rage. So yes, you're in your rage. So you can do your uh, furious retaliation. So you're spending your reaction to make another melee attack against them. Yep. Uh, you are not at an advantage because reckless attack only affects them on your turn. Well, does and just just have advantage anyways, just because. Oh. I have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure you actually could use Reckless Attack if you want Uh, oh. Well, the uh -oh. second roll was the... Tw was it two? It was a 23, my bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just cut out at the two... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I see what I see how this works. Okay, so you do get advantage for the rest of your turn. Okay. What'd you roll? Twenty-three. Twenty-three is going to uh, hit. So go <laughs> ahead and roll damage. Oh yeah, I can smell I think Olivia's making popovers. Ooh. Um an eighteen? 18 points of, points of damage. This time he bring he hits you twice and you just look at him straight in the face. One hand bring uh, Wildheart across him and you just slam him into the wall with the edge of uh, Wildheart. Uh, this one, Ira, is going to... Uh, well, okay. He's going to go here. Can't see him because he's hovering over the other dead person because they're matched Ooh. exactly the same. His arms jut out and he starts to spin rapidly. I need Ryder, Rex, and Ira to make dexterity saving throws. Hey, Calvin, it's that spin move that you wanted. Spin move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spin move. <laughs> oh. This is a dex. Dexterity saving throw, yes. Uh, 21. All right, you save. Oh, 14. All right, you fail. 12. You also <laughs> fail. Uh, sure don't Rex, you take half damage. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, the two of you that fail take 14 points of bludgeoning damage, and Rex, you take uh, 7. As the hands just continuously s spin and hit you with an amount of force, when it hits you, Ira, you can easily tell the arm breaks but it still continues to spin, hitting across everyone. And at the end of it, his arms look completely destroyed and disheveled, but then just <laughs> reformed. I hope it position. was worth it. Well, he looked ridiculous doing it. How about that? <laughs> Here, I'll do this. What a breakdancer. Guy has moves. <laughs> yeah, literally uh, a breakdancer. In the air, even. <laughs> oh, that's my bad. I forgot something. Uh, Jacqueline, you were poisoned, but eh, oh well, my fault. You should have, you should have had disadvantage on the one roll, but eh. Too late, love. Yep, way too late. Yeah. Uh... I shouldn't have had disadvantage on shit. <laughs> Alright, well he's gonna have advantage at attacking you at least, because now he remembers, I... he remembers you're poisoned. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and he's gonna swing twice at you. Oh. Okay. First one is a 19 to hit. I still have a reaction, right? Uh, yep, you should. Shield. All right. Make a wild magic check. Oh, wild magic for level one. Okay. Hey, yeah. Okay, we're good. All right. I'll be back. If, if it gets my turn, attack the nearest person. Follow three attacks. Cool. All right, cool. Second swing. Uh, that is 25. Yeah, that just barely. Oh, just barely. What's your AC? Well, 23? Yeah, 23 with shield. Yeah. 
That's crazy high. So, uh, okay. Since it was advantage, the sneak attack does go off. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. You can get poisoned twice. Oh, actually, no. You're already poisoned, so. That yeah, matter. I was like, what no. kind of nonsense is this shit? Yeah, no. You're poisoned for one minute. Cause that's what it is. Hadley poisoned. Yeah. The double poison. You're just poison. animated. He just used toxic on me. It's fine. This is Pokemon, right? That, is, that those ones sucked. Uh, six, ten, and then. That doesn't sound like it sucked. A lot of dice. Yeah, sneak attack. Uh, you suffer. Fourteen points of piercing damage and four points of poison damage. So that's eighteen points of damage. Yes. You started saying four, and I was like, "Don't say 40. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was potentially, but he only rolled in total six d six, so it would be impossible. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. Uh, that is their turns. Ira. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, how you doing, Jacqueline? Hmm. You hurt? Ow! <laughs> Are you more hurt than Rex, though? Probably. Rex hey, saved. Um, he was at like forty hit points. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna have a um, a player to player talk here. Uh, I started with sixty eight. I'm hmm. now down to twenty five. Hmm. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm doing great. Doing great. <laughs> issue is. Fighting one guy. <laughs> You're gonna have to settle for a healing word because if I move, I'm most likely gonna die too. <laughs> <laughs> Roll wild magic for a healing word. Uh, wild magic for a healing word. Ooh, that's a two. All right. Okay. Healing word is a D4 plus uh, spell casting modifier. Cool. <laughs> you get six HP. <laughs> There you go. Don't hey, that puts you in 30s. That puts you in 30s. <laughs> 31. He's coming out of the fog! <laughs> <laughs> the chair disappeared into the fog! Oh my goodness! <clears throat> well, Calvin, you're magical! <laughs> what do you mean? What happened? You, you appeared you out of the fog. Yeah. And... <laughs> you, like, walked through the room behind you. <laughs> it was uh... it was very nice. All right, and Ira. I'm going to swing on that guy who's who's got busted arms. All right. Well, what was busted arms? Yes. Uh, 18 to hit. That's going to hit. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, seven points of damage. Seven. Yay. Hmm. You stab into him, and you can see the arms go limp. Hmm. Again. I'm running out of things to do. <laughs> Rider. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Hmm, I'm gonna poke at this guy with the pokey poke. Alright, go ahead and make an attack. Take the, um, 12? 12 will unfortunately miss. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he doesn't have any arms. How can he dodge? Right? <laughs> he can move. Uh, <laughs> he can move. Uh, <laughs> bruh. 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 Uh, 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 alright. Since, since we're talking about it before, Jacqueline, you get another bruh. level 2 healing word. Wild magic. Yep. Please don't kill us. 19. That is nothing. Okay. Here you go. Oh, job. Oh, job. Oh, it's seven. <laughs> seven. Wow. Hey. Wow. Yeah, it uh, feels good, guys. That was a level two. <laughs> that was one more than the level one that was spent. <laughs> wow. Right, are you so <laughs> You added your I charisma thought. modifier to that, right? I, I, I did. Okay, I did. just making sure. Go for. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. 
You gotta get him. I'm gonna get to Jacqueline and kill this guy for him. Uh, okay. This guy's gonna take an attack of opportunity on you if you're okay with that. Yeah. That's... Okay. You're also so you're gonna charge onto the table to swing. Yeah. All right. Onto the he's gonna use the charred paper as his power. Uh. <laughs> actually, that's an important question. Is it the start of your turn that reckless attack stops? I'm curious. Huh? No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Tyler. Yes, I, will I would. I would say that if it says you have advantage for the rest of your turn. Well, it doesn't say that. It says uh, oh. you. So basically, doing so gives you advantage on melee weapon attack rolls using strength during this turn. But attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. So I didn't know if it said oh. the end of your next turn or start of your next turn. It just says your next turn. So I'm gonna assume start. So it gets to attack with not advantage. I'm gonna see that will attack. suck. So uh, you he misses. He goes to swing, and the arm dislocates before it can actually get to you, and it's almost like a pet as he just goes, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, he breaks his own arm. Oh, wait, the arms are broken anyways. He can't even make a reaction against you. Never mind. Ignore all that. He can headbutt! He did not headbutt. He Dang. tried to move the arm, and the arm just didn't move. I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll to attack. Go for it. Twice? Uh, Are you recklessly? 30, 20 for the first one. That's going to hit. 17. 17? Uh, yep, 7. Is that with advantage? Did you reckless attack or yeah. no? Okay. Yeah, reckless. Uh, 17 uh, will just that was That was just the first roll. Oh. And it was still the same, so yeah. <laughs> okay, well 17 just hits, so. Yeah! I thought, well... Never mind. 20. 20? <laughs> for the first one? Well, for the first one. <laughs> oh. Alright, right, okay, okay. Oh, well, okay. Wait, 20 damage or 20? 20... 20 damage for the first attack. And then for the second attack, it's a uh, nine. Nine. Uh, yeah. Well, with the first swing, you bring it down and it cleaves off an arm. He's going limp and you stab him a second time as he's falling over. Go for it. Why did you make that the most confusing turn you've ever taken? Because <laughs> I, I just rolled super weird because I was like, wait, 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 hold on. And then I, my, my brain just went stupid with the math. Rex, uh, you're swinging three times. Go ahead. Rex? <laughs> I didn't hear my name. I said, Rex, you're swinging three times, yeah? You... No, you didn't. I absolutely did. Yeah, the turn order. Yeah, you, you didn't. Have... I really didn't. I'm going to attack. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> and we're falling apart. By the sea. Uh, <laughs> so it's 18, fight. 17. Uh, both will hit. Uh, look, you, you, you got him. You bring right. the blade, and he's done. You cut once, you see the uh, the head go limp. You cut a second time, and the body goes limp and falls to the ground. And just like that, we are out of initiative. Cool. So... I'm you want to go destroy that machine just in case that these guys come back? Oh, uh, I was uh, already... What Jacqueline was going to do the second that the thing fell, she pulls out the five-foot nail. <laughs> <laughs> I still have that, yes? Oh, yes. Cool. There's no way you're giving up that. Yeah, no. No, uh, the door ate it. 
she no longer gives a shit that her uh, strength is negative one. She just doesn't want them coming back. She doesn't notice Gopher <laughs> show up. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm just gonna say this too. You can you de as you're bringing the nail forwards to uh, plunge into the device. I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, you can actually see a faint magical glow showing the wires now. Okay. From the device thing? From the device. Cool. Yeah. She brings it like this and... <laughs> Easily enough, when you put it in there, you can see the metal bending back and like a small puff of like a magical dust spray out. Do the strings disappear? Nope. Strings are still there. Okay. They've gone limp. They're like dragging across the ground. Okay. She's gonna keep hitting him until it disappears. <laughs> okay. You keep swinging and swinging what? and swinging. Yeah. Any anyone who goes around this corner, uh, Jacqueline has just lost her goddamn mind for some reason. <laughs> All right, I guess the rest cut of us the will... strings. Well, they're magical strings. You can't cut them. I go and I cut the string. Uh, you bring your blade, your little dagger up, you lift up the the uh, now visible strings, and you cut through them with no problem. Oh, okay. You said magical. But, yeah, well, you like with a magical faint glow, they showed up. Yeah, that... Dude, that means magical. I well, yeah, no, I gather. Like, I, I don't understand. know if they're physical. <laughs> no, I, I... They're still magical, like, in nature. It's just that... Oh, okay. Yeah. You can magical see Magical doesn't mean unbreakable. By physical means, I don't know that. It's very true. Uh, <laughs> however, by stabbing this thing several times, you have knocked it off the wall. Cool. If, if that's making okay. you feel any better. It, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> in, in Jacqueline's mind, it is dead. <laughs> Where it was, it is not anymore. It's gone. Yes. It's... <laughs> the, they, she will not get evaded again by some bullshit marionette. <laughs> the most of us will take some time to uh, escape the room. Yeah, yeah. what's everyone going to be doing? Jacqueline, from the end of this room, this hall, I'll call it, this little passage, uh, there are, as I said, it's like a grocery store aisle <laughs> itself. So there are three rows in this middle area that has all just layers of bottles. Uh, the one on your left, there's a layer of small casks, about five that go down this, and then there's one layer of bottles above it. Um, are any of the bottles um, filled at all? Can't uh, you see? There is one or two that aren't. The rest are filled with liquid. Okay. Uh she takes one? Okay. Take it in your hand. Is there a, is there a cork? Too. Yeah, it's got a cork at the end. Uh, it's just as it was before in the previous room. These All these bottles aren't perfect. They each are, like, um, uh, different from each other as well. Slight greenish hue into each of them. I forget, did uh, Felix find out anything about these bottles? Uh, he identified one, and it had no magical properties. Okay. Um, who sees her with the bottle? I mean, no, people are going to be investigating the room. Pretty much everyone can see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would you do if she was about to take the cork off of a bottle? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Good. Not, nothing. A anything. I was just... Because usually when Jacqueline does this shit, something <laughs> explodes. And then everyone yells at me like, why did you do that? I'm like, why didn't you stop me? <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. So I just want to make sure. I'm going to hide over here. <laughs> anything that happens is not my fault. <laughs> you know why that happens? I'm just going to loot the bodies. <laughs> Actually, am I even able to take the cork off of this? Uh, when you grab at it, it takes a little bit of some time, but you get your fingers under what looks to be like a hitch on each side of the cork, and you just okay. twist, 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 
pops off, okay. and immediately a strong scent fills the like fills from the bottle. You immediately smell like a richness to the liquid. Boom. And oh, then it explodes. Alcohol? No, nothing happens. What? I, I said, and then Gover went kaboom, and I went, like, it then explodes. But yeah. No, okay. nothing happens. It's like, oh, it smells like a... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells great. Um, it is uh, pungent. It does not smell bad, but it's not necessarily okay. uh, like a pleasant smell. Okay. Um, can I see anything for color? Uh, looking in at it, it looks to be like a, like a semi brownish liquid. Uh, okay. That, in and of itself, isn't clear, but it's uh, like uh, it's it's akin to an alcohol. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Bust through this wall. <laughs> Bust through the gas. Casket. Oh yeah, the alcohol. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So, can I investigate the body in the room now? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you and Ryder are both investigating the bodies. Yes. Uh, as they're doing that, is anybody else doing anything else? Um, Rex, you're I'm investigating investigate the room. The room. Ira? I'll, uh, I'll join them. In investigating no. the room? Or yeah. the oh, it's Paladin. Uh, Gutter will investigate the room also. Alright, those investigating the room, make investigation checks. Uh, Ooh. Ryder and Felix. Uh, how's your investigation? Very good. Uh, can I give, can I give advantage for Ira? Yeah! Alright. Oh! Very, very good. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, looking over the bodies, you can definitely tell that uh, the three of them that were in here, they have, uh, since they were not uh, charred corpses, they definitely have the symbol of the sparks emblazoned onto the back of their shoulders. And uh, on them, they have the two of them that had the arm brace. They have a dagger in the other hand. They have, between the three of them, a hundred gold pieces. Wait, wait, wait. I thought these guys wait, were investigating the room. I'm saying for those investigating the body. The oh, bodies. okay. Because okay. investigating the room is going to take oh. time. So. Yeah, also, I thought you one don't have had, like, a claw thing. Well, if you're just going to be... Don't worry about it. If you're going to be looking at the bodies... No, I'm going to worry about it. Are, if you're going to... If you're investigating... Like, are you trying to find something in particular about them? Or are you just investigating them? It's I'm looting. Investigating. Then, then, I'm looting. That I mean, I would consider them to be pretty much the same, because there's not necessarily anything odd about them when you're while looting them. You're not in like a rush or anything right now. It's a little different than like uh, trying to look at the room. Damn it! Last time I rolled, this time I rolled, rolled a fucking nat twenty to investigate. All right, this make shit. an investigation check. I, I got did. A roll. What'd you get? What well, nat twenty? Oh. Well, guess what? They're Sparks people. Uh, okay, with, with that, I'll say um, you're investigating the bodies that also have the wires on them. While Ryder is looting them, you're investigating abnormalities, I'll say. So what I find again? Uh, there are a hun there's 100 gold pieces between the okay. three. Yes. Uh, there are two arm-like devices that have the uh, clawed ends to them. Uh, do I have to disconnect them? You would have to disconnect them. Do I know how to disconnect them? N no. Okay, fuck that then. I ain't gonna mess with that. Uh, um. the daggers they hold, those are basic. Other than that, they don't have anything on them. How many daggers? There are two. Okay, nice. Uh, Look, the... Any money will work. <laughs> Fair enough, man. You gotta make do. Uh... The one that had the gold inlaid yellow blade, when you pick it up, it has like a, a significant weight to specifically the hilt. And when you put your hand to it, you can almost feel like a liquid sloshing inside of it. Oh, boy. oh it's a poison filled blade? Dagger? Uh, it's a it's a short sword. Oh. And uh, the moment you kind of put your hand to it, 
it's almost as if it like melds to the fingertips for you. Oh, so, so the the hilt, the hilt or the metal, or the blade, the hilt. Oh. It's uh, when you put your hand onto it to grab it, it almost like uh, grasps your hand in like a hold, oh. not like a dangerous one. Like, you can let go and everything. It's as if it's giving you a better grip, like a mold. You're holding oh. hands with the sword. Yes. Hmm. Well, but this one isn't is... clingy. <laughs> it goes clangy, though. Uh, All right. I'll add to my inventory. What is it called? What uh, do I call it? The Poisoned Short Sword. Good name. Poisoned. Not everything <laughs> is super cool. <laughs> I was I was expecting it to be like uh, Venom's Bite or something. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's just, it's it's just nothing called... super cool. <laughs> the, the sword is just called Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. I don't know who that is. But, uh... Venom. Venom. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, looking over the uh, bodies that have the wires, Felix, you looked over the other three and nothing odd was about them. You're following the, wa the wires, and when you kind of pick it up, it's pretty hefty in your hands. Like, they're almost metal. You know that you had swung in the air, and this type of material, probably you would have felt at least some kind of resistance if it was there. It wasn't hard to cut for you, but you still felt it cut through it when you cut yeah. them earlier. When you go to the bodies, the wire is as if it's attached to each individual article of the limb. So there's one on the tricep, one on the forearm straight to the back, back of the neck, large, important uh, segments of the body, as if it was a marionette. Okay. But they don't have any physical uh, effect on them. You don't see the wire embedded into the skin or anything, but it's as if it's just straight attached to it. Interesting. Uh, what were you doing with the drink again, Jacqueline? Drinking it. Uh, giving it to me. <laughs> I was uh, actually looking. I went quiet because I was looking at my um, spells to see if I had like detect poison or disease. I don't know if that would help make sure that something is poisonous or not yeah, yeah. it certainly would but i'm poison. not paladin level three so i don't uh... have that because of my oath yet so i have protection from good and evil and that's it yeah that's not gonna help you these things aren't celestial undead say or whatever i mean so um like when i smell it do i smell just it, it it's beer it smells like, like a liquor, probably more pungent than beer. Okay. Like a scotch sort of feel. Like a bad scotch. Okay. I don't know liquor. Scotch is brown, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't you laugh at me. <laughs> I was like, I'm certain it's brown, but I'm not sure. I mean, to be fair, they would be whiskey like this if it would be whiskey scotch is probably not where you want to go immediately <laughs> whatever it is it's strong and it's it smells rich cool she drinks it all right it is a very very thick sort of okay. uh liquor she drinks a little bit of it yeah and I'm not, it's not assuming you're just downing the bottle uh, I'm not uh, going for when you do drink it you kind of feel odd it's heavier in your stomach. Like you feel okay. it just kind of like pool for a moment. Yeah, it's thick. And you turn into a marionette. Nothing happens. But you okay. uh, you definitely kind of feel weird after drinking a little bit of it. Oh, no. You start bleeding black from the corner of your eyes. <laughs> you start seeing Tiamat already. <laughs> But like I said, there is easily over a hundred bottles in here that have li that have liquid in them. Um, you know what? Go for what are you doing? He's investigating the room. You go over to him. 
as he's staring at a casket. What'd you get for your investigation roll, Gopher? <laughs> gopher. Go, 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 go. Gopher? Gopher? He dead. Hey, Gopher? What? <laughs> What'd you go for your investigation Sorry, check? Sorry, I was eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll for your Good investigation Good choice, man. Good choice. Now ice cream. <laughs> Tyrus being defeated by food. What were you trying to say, Tyler? What was your investigation <laughs> check? It was a six. Alright, it's perfect. You see Gopher somehow eating ice cream. You don't know where he got it from. <laughs> okay. But you so, go over to him as he's investigating this ice cream that he has. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. for this is what you see. Okay? You just see... Here. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can see that uh, Gopher has... Uh, found what looks to be like a box that is slightly cold in this corner. He slid it out from under these big uh, caskets, or not caskets, uh, oh my god, my brain. Barrels? Kegs? Uh, Kegs, kegs. thank you. I was like, casks? I mean, that's kind of right, but not, it's like... eh. I mean, yeah, cask, I think, is another. (laughs) It's like, that's like something to, like, age stuff, though. I don't know. Uh, That's what they're doing. You see him pull out a box. Okay. <laughs> and the box has like a little bit of like cold frost on it. And when he op- when he opens it, there's a little bit of what looks to be like fresh ice cream in there. Just digging in. I would. <laughs> um, I just I just pour the viscous goo on the <laughs> on, on the ice, the ice cream. cream. <laughs> Go for you have a bottle of liquor in your hand. <laughs> yes. And you have a frosting <laughs> for your ice cream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> liquor I, and ice cream. What yeah. a perfect combo. Chocolate fudge, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, looking over the room. What are we doing? I don't know. It's a session, we <laughs> Apart from Gopher finding a box that seems to be able to retain cold. Uh, Somehow. Rex and Ira, you two uh, are actually investigating the room. <laughs> and first checking the uh, the keg, the massive keg that had uh, the, we'll say, marionette slam into it. Uh, looking inside, you can definitely see there's a number of articles of cloth that look to be very vibrant. Um, sitting on top of them, there is, uh, solid metal bars. Uh, when you go in to pull them out, you can see that there's various kinds one of which catches your eye, I, or, uh, Rex, because you've seen it before. Ira, oh, this is something that you've never seen. This is a very uh, large bar of adamantine. Oh. Oh. Why you've seen this right? kind of armor before. Wait, or you've seen like an armor. A long made bar, of this. right? Like... Yep, it's like a solid. Like, imagine. Imagine a bar of gold. It's a bar of adamantine. Okay. Rich. <laughs> what is? Is this red steel? What is this? I thought it's green. Was it green? Uh, the armor was green. This is a red bar, though. Oh really? To when my knowledge, is yeah. it is like raw material. Then it is raw. Mat- it's like well, it's it's refined, but it's not forged into something. When the adamantine gets forged into gear, that's when its color changes, when it's exposed to a large amount of heat. I thought mithril was green. Mithril is also green, but that's more like because of lightness, it being light. Yeah. Do I found only one? What is this, runescape? 
It, there's one bar of that. There's uh, several bars of various metals like iron, steel, bronze. Um, Take it all. They are very yeah, heavy, especially one, the bar of adamantine. And one uh, keg. Or this is this is the like, one. Oh, keg. all, all this the is, kegs. This is just the one keg. When you go to the other kegs, some of them are filled with liquid, so you kind of can notice each of them have a spigot to the end of them so with at the first part of the investigation after noticing that was turning the spigots to see if anything would uh spray out a liquid when you did Bars, about I don't know if that here swash <laughs> well these are massive you're not going to necessarily be able to move them ah just pick them up and over your head yeah. i didn't say move them, i was like smash it but whatever oh, you, know, you could do that too if you would like either Rex, way smash. you find out that out of the 22 massive kegs that are in here, 15 of them are filled with liquid. The one is filled with the bars, and there are six left that you have not investigated yet. Uh, going to each of them, how are you going to open them? Uh, just look like a keg, right? Or there's nothing attached to it? Uh, the... There's nothing attached to it apart from the spigot. You would have to peel back the uh, the wood itself. Use this, and I hand you a uh, a silver great axe. <laughs> How'd you get a silver great axe? I can make any weapon I want. <laughs> right. <laughs> How's the cake position? Is it on its side or? Oh, they're God. so they're they're cylindrical, and at the base of them. They're, each of them have like leggings that are coast around the sides that are made of metal. So basically it's like a wood thing with a uh, metal brace on both ends as that act as legs, basically. You want me to hack these open? Yeah, do it. I guess I'll start these are the six, right? You're talking about that I have not inspected. Yes, there are six that you have not inspected. Uh, there are also the five small casks that are off to the uh, side that uh, Jacqueline found. Those ones, though, are just easy enough. Gopher can fucking like crush them in his bare hands. We'll just open. Uh, I guess I'll start. <laughs> um... I'm over exaggerating just a little bit. Just don't just we have a, wait? Don't we have a crowbar? If I'm sure ever do I believe? I, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I have a crowbar. Yeah, I do. Crowbar. Can I use that crowbar? No. Thank you, I for an offer, but I think a crowbar might help us in this. Yeah, he, here you go. Um, no, the axe. Fine. <laughs> it just teleports the axe away. <laughs> I take back my mist. No more sharing for you. My mist. Are you able to change what I'm it's sorry. made out of? Are you able to change what it's made out of? What do you mean? Because a silvered a silvered axe is different than a normal axe. They're all silvered, but they technically don't have the properties of silver. Ah, you know? okay. Just a flavor thing. Tiki. Okay. I was just curious if that was what it was. Okay, no. I mean, they kind of have a missed. silver shine to them. Yeah. I was just curious if they were actually silver. And they're all made of the mist that comes from the skull. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say Ira just farts and out, out comes a, a mall. <laughs> All right, yeah. so, there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, add that to the pile. <laughs> <laughs> I use the crowbar to open these. Okay. Uh, make uh, athletics checks with advantage. You strong, strong, not strong, Rex. Uh, anyways, that's taken. That's gonna take some time. Uh, what's the rest of you doing? After you've finished investigating the bodies. Oh. Watching Gopher eat ice liquor cream. ice cream. <laughs> you know what? I'll do something. I'll go over here. I'm going to go out here. I'm just going to stand in the corner here and keep watch in case if anyone else shows up again. Okay. Make a perception check. <sighs> in before. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not that. Perception. This was a ladder. Yep, that's a ladder. 30, 20. Dirty 20. That's the ladder that you came down in here before, Gopher. That's when you came from inside the shop. Or inside um, the, uh, the uh, 
the bar. Mm. Uh, what'd you say, Rex? 18. 18. On the first one, you crank it down, you peel it back, and you pop off part of it, just enough so that way you can kind of peek in, uh, shining a little bit of some light into it. The This first one is, once again, filled with cloth, but on, sitting on top of it, you can see our three more of those arm weapons the ones that have the blades that swing out oh it's not the claw oh. that drags you forward no <laughs> moving on to the second one you oh, put it in peel it back when you do this is the one directly next to it uh that one has three of the arm ones so claws claw That's the claw ones ah. Going to the we third. Are eternally grateful. Uh, basically, each and every one of the ones that doesn't have a liquid in it is filled with cloth that the objects are resting on. One of them is empty. The uh, second one of the remaining four is uh, it has what looks to be a number of weapons that are. Um, they have a thick sort of uh, thickness to the metal themselves, and the hilts are elongated in normal. They are longer than great swords. Longer than great swords. Yeah. But they're the shape of a great sword, though. It's in the shape of a great sword, as in, like, the blade is extremely massive with, like, a big hilt, like a two-handed hilt, but they're almost bigger than that. Is it... If I imagine this, is like almost the it's like a size worthy for like um, orc or a giant. Uh, if it was for a giant, it would be small. If it was for like maybe a half giant, that would probably be more fitting. Something that's oh, roughly like eight feet tall. Right. Hail giant. Hail giants. No, hail giants are bigger than the other giants. <laughs> well. So basically, it's so far, it's fun. equipment, weapon, and raw ingots. Or yep, raw are, ingots. Uh, the arm, arm, uh, the arm wars. We'll call them the arm thingies. This one has uh, ten of those weapons. You go to the second one. You peel it back. You find a number of armors. Some look to be plate. Some look to have a slight greenish tint to the armor. Uh, others look to be light on their feet with uh, metal, and others seem to have uh, like leathers, chain mails, and things of the sort. There's seven sets of armor in here, one of each of them being various different kinds, though. Hmm. Any uh, close to my size, T? Uh, you could definitely look it over and. Uh, pulling out the ones that could possibly fit you, not being necessarily massive for your size. Uh, are you, what kind of like are you looking for? Because there's heavy, medium, and light in here. Uh, medium. Okay, you can pull out what looks to be like. Um, let me look at what I put in there again. Oh. Before you continue onward, mm -hmm. or uh, can I make another perception or investigation if these things are uh, booby trapped? Uh, sure, I'll let you make an investigation. Oh, sweet. This is probably a waste. A natural 20. Uh, looking at them, they are not booby-trapped. Alright, cool. So, uh, we'll probably be safe of taking some of these things, then. The one that you pull out that most closely resembles you looks to be of uh, breastplates that is got a... Um, they have two shoulder pieces that have what looks to be like a bluish gemstone into it. Mm. 
Mm, okay. Well, I don't know if you guys are planning on doing these uh, equipment and stuff, but. Oh, where is it? There is one more well, keg left as well. We could sell all this. Uh, there's one keg left. There's one keg left. I have not. Well, it's not a money issue if we sold it all. Do I re-roll for this one or? No, you can still this? just open it. Uh, popping that one open. When you look inside, there's a number of uh round devices. There's about five of them, each individually wrapped nearby. What they look like? They're cylindrical what? balls of metal. You all ball of metal. A Ira or uh, I was Felix. You think you can check these things out? See if they're magical. I'll cast the tech magic. Okay. Okay. Just gonna instant insta cast it. Might as well. Okay. When you cast detect magic. You can see in the keg that has the eight weapons, they are not magical. The keg that has the armor, you can see the one that has the two blue gen pieces on it are magical. Uh, there's another piece in there that looks to be of uh, heavy armor that is also magical. I'll, uh, I'll take that and the breastplate out uh, okay. just to separate them and okay. point out that they're magical. Going, I'll sit and identify them. Okay, so you're going to start working on Identify uh, while you're doing this. So as you are uh, doing that, you go over to the uh, arm weapons. You can definitely see that uh, the arm weapons that have the claws, there's a slight magical tinge to them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the other ones that have the blades, they are not. The small orbs you can see have uh, minor amounts of magic in them. And the box that's in front of Gopher, you can see that there's magic. Yeah. Okay. The the ice cream box? The ice cream box. <laughs> <laughs> Gopher, where, you, where do you keep finding these things? <laughs> Every time I look around, you've got, like, got some... a nose for it. <laughs> Go for fucking Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one that's empty, you don't see anything in there. The bars themselves, uh, the adamantine one, you could definitely notice it has has like a magical like just aura to it. Not that it's got like a magical effect going, but it's got like a magical aura. It is a magical aura. And then there is a secondary one in there that has, it's got a splotched sort of color. The end of it is of like a brown that goes into a uh, dark color, almost like a, like a burned ore. Hmm. There's one bar of silver, which is uh, got like a slight magical properties to it as well. Uh, so those are the only three bars that are magical out of the rest. Okay. I'm assuming uh, all this cannot probably fit in the bag of holding. Probably. Oh, uh, God, no. <laughs> These nope. are heavy. <laughs> that head was, was uh, probably taking up most of my space. <laughs> that head is uh, probably not... <laughs> I mean, how much, does, how much does his average head weigh, I don't know. Tyler? How much does a... <laughs> I don't fuck it. I Jordan, don't do look you know how much either. junk you have in that bag? Uh, not much, much anymore. It all got taken, head head remember? Weigh. Yeah. Are we Probably set, eight pounds. You set, you set the setting for the magical bag, the same thing. It's like a certain eight amount. Pounds. I said eight. Yeah, it's 11 pounds because it's about five kilograms. Is the average human head. I don't know why that's a research, but I'm okay without uh, going further into that. 
Um, because you can research and find that the average human brain is three pounds. Anyways, what'd you say, uh, Rex? Uh, you said, uh, IR, you found this table or this crate next to, uh, Gopher is magical, right? Yes, it is. A magical box, you just, <gasps> out of, like, nothing. <laughs> so of the things that were found that's magical... The blade that uh, Rex, or not Rex, uh, that uh, Ryder picked up. The uh, breastplate that has uh, blue gemstones attached to it. The uh, plate mail that was pulled out looks to be uh, magical as well. The uh, five small orbs each of which are magical. The three uh, arm blades, those are magical. Or not arm blades, the arm claws, those are slightly magical. And then the burned-looking or or the burned-looking bar, the adamantine bar, and the silver bar were pulled out, along with the box. That's of the kegs that were in here. Those are all magical. All right, right, just pick out which one you want to get and put in your bag. Uh, I'd rather not be part of looting the stuff, so you guys do what you want. I, I'll hand, I'll hand Rex my bag. No, you're being I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs> then... Give the bag back to me later. Just don't tell me what you're taking. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still count as stealing? Is that your concern? Uh, I, he can't be too safe. Well, I mean, well, here's that's question. why I'm that's why I'm standing out here and not watch and keeping watch. <laughs> here's the thing: you took that one blade, and you did not get shocked by it. Yeah, but that's, that was looting a dead body, though. These these people are whole... dead, and this is what they had. I mean, this could still be more people. We're liberating from terrorists. <laughs> this is not stealing. Anyway, it is kind of like terrorist thing because and you earned hurting. it they are terrorists dm i have a question about yes. that civil war yes with that civil war can i enhance my rapier no <laughs> yeah, you be able to enhance metal, his silver dear. rapier what were okay. you hoping to gain with an enhancement for you there i mean because the silver rapier who knows well, adding so... more silver on top of silver it and... doubles the silver yeah it makes it plus what duh <laughs> uh... <laughs> The, the silver rapier by itself just has... The silver effect by itself has just a baseline effect of it can bypass uh, Undead. certain... No, it can bypass certain Real creatures' vulnerable or uh, resistances. They count as magical. It. Yeah, they count as magical when counting resistance. Yes, because it's silver. Yeah. There are some creatures that are immune to non-magical slashing damage, for instance. Hey, um, question. Yes. Uh, I don't know, because I was slightly half paying attention. Um, did anyone check to see what... Because you said, like, all of this crap was sitting atop cloth things. Right? Yep. They were all resting on top of cloth. Do we know what's in the cloth? Is the cloth just, like, bolts of cloth, or is it, like, garments? Uh, it's like garments, uh... Some of them look to be blankets, others are articles of clothing of various kinds. They don't necessarily look valuable. Uh, sifting through them, you don't find anything. Either. Okay. None of it's magical okay. if, on top If of you that. worry about there's trash, I already checked and there's none. It's not it's what I'm worried about. <laughs> you know, an orphanage disappeared. That's what I'm worried about. Don't and now there are just barrels filled with shit. No, these I cloths just, are most you know. likely used to uh, muffle the sound of them moving. Okay. This is very commonplace for uh, smuggle work. Jake, you're worried about the orphanage that disappeared years ago? I'm worried well, about... Yeah, no. I See, okay. The thing that I'm worried about and that Jacqueline was thinking about is the fact that they're using a bunch of dead bodies of wherever the heck they got them as marionettes. 
and we're just finding random shit in barrels. Who's to say there's not a couple bodies in the barrels, you know? <laughs> I'll hand the bag of holding to Ira, and I will be back. Oh, goody. Tee hee. Alright, uh, so, Ryder, you've got the bag of holding page, right? Yeah. Alright, what's all in there? Okay, okay. Okay. We're gonna if we're gonna be taking stuff, we're gonna have to weigh it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the cobalt was in there, but not anymore. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was um, twenty-seven rations. Okay. My DOS loot. Okay. A stu- uh, no, I have that equipped. I have that equipped. A des- deck of many things. Okay. Many faces. Spear. Many faces. <laughs> yeah. A spear. Uh, a spear. Okay. Iron buckle. Still have okay. that iron buckle. Uh, my essence of life, I guess. If I, I'm not sure if I could hold that around my neck or something. Yeah. It's okay, something that you that's... put in your pocket. Okay, no, then that's not in there. Then uh, to, to, the two daggers I just added. Okay. A bedroll. Okay. Torch, eight nails, a water skin, and the poison sword. And I do have one black flask. Eight nails. <laughs> we throw out the. Why nails. do we have an iron buckle? Where did that come from? That was a long time ago. That was, I believe, stolen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty confident that that iron buckle was stolen. Why? Um, I actually think it was taken from someone who attacked us. Because they used it on us, I think. Yeah. Oh. We just took it. Oh, right. No, yeah, the iron buckle. Not the. I was thinking of a buckler. Like a sheet. No, 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 no. no. <sighs> like the, the hand buckles? The yeah, iron the hand buckles. The hand buckles. That's why I was like. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, well, the iron buckle? I thought it was the iron buckle. <laughs> I thought it was the iron buckler. <laughs> I was thinking like a buckle on a fucking belt. Yeah. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> Oh, well. I'll take those how knives you... out of the bag, oh, I guess. Oh, no, man. It's been a long day. I was like, how did you think it was I'm Buckler on, like, when you three said hours Buckle? Of sleep, all right? You said Buckle three I know. Hours. I know. <laughs> I'm middle, I've got uh, three hours of sleep on me. Shut up. Anyway, anyways. Are right, you just looting the crates now? All right, we can just take out the well, daggers. No, I just got them. I thought we could sell them. Stuff. I'll keep them on me. We'll hold on to them, but I'll just carry them. Uh, so Rex, all in this, all, do you want the sword? Of, each of the bars of metal that's magical is going to end up weighing twenty-five pounds. That's not that bad. Not what does the bag carry? Five hundred. Okay. How many are we at? Uh, well, the bars alone—that's seventy-five. With everything else that's in there, I'm going to say that's a hundred. Yeah. Easily oh. take it all. Easy. Uh, the all box right. of cold. That is. Uh, oh well. Okay. Are you identifying everything first? Are we trying to save a lair? No, no way. Because I can't. I have to ritual cast it. So you're not gonna be down here for a couple hours to do it. <laughs> no. So okay. you're basically just gonna we just grab it, then you identify it later. Then you can go back to the inn yep. and then identify it there. Yes. Okay. Uh, the cold box itself is not many, isn't very heavy. It's 20 pounds by itself, uh, because it's got, like, a metal framework to it. I love how that exists now over a meme. <laughs> yep. Absolutely was made because he was eating ice cream. Uh, the, so, Felix, you also put in 14 bottles of liquid in there, right? No. I have my own backpack. Oh, you put 14 bottles in your backpack? You think I have a lot in my backpack? You can fit 14 bottles in a backpack? (laughs) Yeah, you can't fit 14 of these in a backpack? How big are these bottles? They're like wine bottles. Are we talking like the small ones or the big ones? There are different sizes for wine bottles. Yeah, there is. I'm going to go with, like, the average size of a wine bottle is probably, like, this big. Yeah, they're not, like, beer bottles. No. Which are, like, this big. So, like, wine is a little, just a little bit taller. Yeah. They're taller, but it has, like, a wider rim on the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Kinda. It's proportionate to its height. 
No. Yeah. Well, 14, I guess, is the most you're going to fit in your backpack. It is chock full. It is still a large amount of, of bottles, but this. they're not, like, crazy big. No. That big. Yeah. That big. Yeah, I was imagining, like, much bigger, but they wouldn't be, like, huge. But uh, they're going to be heavy, so... And loud. <laughs> so <laughs> how, loud. How, how, how much we have in them? Uh, right now you have 100 pounds with the bars, 120 pounds with the uh, cold box in it. So that's the, 120. The uh, armor. The but I'll, plate. I mean, I will dump these bottles if need be. That is fair. Uh, also, for discretion, don't don't look too far into why I had that at arm's reach. <laughs> oh, we all have drinks. <laughs> um, I put it back and then went. Hmm. <laughs> of the magical armors. Taking both of them is going to be about 85 pounds. Oh, look at you actually knowing the numbers. Uh, Played to 65 and a breastplate's 20. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I guessed, but I was like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the breastplate is not heavy because it's 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 medium armor that doesn't have disadvantage and so plate 82, armor is that's... fucking crazy. We're at 205. The arm devices, the ones with claws, each weigh 15 pounds. So there's 45 on that. I'm not I'm assuming we're not taking Are we taking all of it? Might or, as well. Like, otherwise, they just keep them. So so it's 15. And you said it's three of them? Yep. 295. The orbs, each of them weighs uh, 10 pounds per. So 50 pounds. 345. 345, yeah. Uh, I, think I think that's it. I think that is it. So, yeah, that's all of it. That's yep. 345 pounds. What about the devices? That Those were those were 10 pounds each. So those were put in just for now. Uh, yeah, so you would have in total about 150 pounds to uh, grab around. Also, there are still the five casks off to the side over here as well. Oh, and the head. They haven't been opened. They have not been opened. Oh, and the head. Sorry. So add 10 pounds to that. <laughs> so 355 pounds. 355 pounds. <laughs> uh, who collected the gold? Did anybody? I did. Uh, yeah. yeah I, thought you did. I thought you didn't. Okay, you did. Right. Am I keeping <clears throat> track of the gold still? So do I get that? Yeah, we'll just... uh, yeah, I'm also you... keeping track too, just in case. That's a terrible idea. One person keep track of money, because otherwise you're gonna have discounted numbers. Right, Max, how much do you have right now? What's your total? You both should be poor. <laughs> well, before. no, I have 206 gold. I mean, that is still pretty poor, but yeah. Did you just say you have 206 gold? Yeah. He did he's find been 100. he's been keeping a very different count. Well, we just got a hundred, so. Yeah. I, I, have the I have 59 gold, and that's after looting the first room. Oh. And 106 silver pieces. Uh-oh. I only have 60 silver. <laughs> All right. We're going with Max's numbers, right? Or no more counting. <laughs> You've you got the bag of gold? holding. We talked about this earlier. You have the bag of holding. He's got the Oh, God. Punch. I know why. I know why he's... Because he was selling stuff separate of us at first. I don't... He, he, he has his own separate money. How did... See, here's the problem, though. Shouldn't he have absolutely nothing after that whole dragon spear shit? He was selling stuff. Yeah, then he sold that. stuff when we worked. Also, he, All right. the gems. He sold the gems, and he didn't give me the money. I remember that was specified. Okay. You lied. Let's just assume, <laughs> from here on out, that the money is just always on everyone's person, just for ease. Okay. As long as it's like it, it count. It's like a party inventory, which is what it should have been in the first place. Exactly. Yep. For money. Yeah. Because Not... Jordan's a dirty, rotten liar. <laughs> what? I think I've just been doing it. I've just been keeping with the hundred. We're going with writers' numbers because I that does make sense. You did sell things, made money through performances and stuff like that. So the 206 make is more plausible than the 59 plus the 100 or whatever. So the one. No, I. The problem is, is two people have been keeping money to themselves, essentially. Okay. Regardless, 
From here on out. Now you will, Max. So. From here on <clears> out, <throat> Max, you are in charge of money. You have, you have the coin purse that is basically magical that will go into everybody's pockets. <laughs> so whenever anybody gets money, just putting it into it all together. So that we have a keep a party fund. So that we don't have to worry about math and individual money to like quote unquote go around spending. If you want to spend money, it's just comes straight out of the party fund. It's like having a credit card. Yes. On massive pur purchases, it's pretty much going to always be a group discussion anyways. All right. <laughs> so then I'm going to need Jordan's total again. It was 206 two gold, 69 yep. silver. Let me get a pen. I got to write it down. <laughs> Where the... F uh, anyways, is anybody looking at the five caskets, or the five casks that were off to the side? Yes. Okay. <laughs> r r when those get pulled out, Ryder, you recognize that they were the ones that were hey, what? Rotten. Ryder? Yeah. When those get pulled out, Ryder, you recognize these casks as the ones that they came from the ship. Oh. But Ryder's not in the room. Yeah, I'm not in the room, though. Rex is there. <laughs> Sure. Look, I... They're recognized as the casks that were brought from the ship. Rex was there, too. Yeah. Okay, that is true. Yeah, Rex was there. Um, anyways. Oh, right, because uh, I think it was uh, Calvin w had to leave or something during that point. I think. D doesn't matter. Uh, when looking at them, you pop them open easily because they're much smaller with the crowbar. Each of them has, uh, basically, three of them are filled with gold coins. When counting them all up, they equal out to being 755 gold pieces. Popping open one that's mildly lighter, it looks to have platinum pieces in it. Oh. Pouring mm. them out, you can see that there is approximately 130 Platinum pieces. Hmm. Ooping that up. The last one, when you open it up, it looks to have various amounts of metallic scrap. Kind of metal? Just like iron, steel? Uh, various, yeah, like iron, steel, bronze, copper, just various amounts. They look to be almost components. These might be like the fail inventions that uh, the, 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 I forgot the bartender's name. That guy's invention fails. <laughs> might be. Came back. Valueless, at least to us. Although if they're hiding it, it must be important to them. We'll dump it in the sewer on our way out. Wait, what are we we're dumping? Parts or a device? The scrap. We don't need this scrap. And they obviously want it for something. Why don't we bring it back to... Smitty? Yeah. Is that the bar? Seriously? Yeah, that's Smitty. the uh, guys from the... That's the owner of the Barrow's Touch. Smitty. See if he can tell us what it's for. Or from. Hey, Tila? Mm-hmm. Can you tell me all the ingots and all that we got again? You got a like, bar of adamantine. Adamantine. Okay. Uh, what's another thing? Bar of silver. Silver bar. Okay. Bar of burned metal. It, that's just burned the description of it. It's not metal. actually burned. It's just oh. how it kind of looks. Because it's got like a splotted brown end to it. That okay. melds into a pitch black bar at the end. Hey. Right. What else? Is that? We'll is tell that you it? the. I'll tell you the other ones once I tell you the names of them once they're identified later. Oh. Uh, right now, mark down breastplate, plate armor. Okay. 
cold box. Wait, what was that? Cold box. Cold box? Yep. Box box that is cold that had ice cream in it. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh and then claw arms. Three ar three claw arms. These claws ain't just for attracting mates. And right. then five orbs. This or oh. They're for attracting me. Five. Okay. So okay. adamantite, one antimantine, one silver, one brit metal, one blast, one plate. One code, three arm cards, and five orbs. Yep. Okay, got it. Cool. Good. <laughs> Only one? <laughs> Where's the other? <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, apart from that, uh, the rest of the non magical stuff in here, when you looked over uh, inside the kegs for detect magic, your detect magic's still up as well. Uh, when you glance over, you can tell that there are five bottles on the uh, this side that are magical. And mm. on this side, there are seven bottles. So in total, mm. 12 bottles that are that have a faint magical hue to them. Oh, mm. you would also be... Does he see any magic coming from my bag from the bottles? Uh, there are two in your backpack. I pulled them out. No, I pulled those. We dumped I pulled the, rest. the rest out. <laughs> okay, so basically, the magical you will have thirteen bottles magic. that are magical. Magic should have thirteen. Yes. No, fourteen. I think I did my math right. I might have said fourteen, but I meant thirteen. Fifteen. Magic. Magic. Uh, magic. All right. Anything else that you're doing in here? Magic. Doing magic. Got it. Magic. Anything else? <laughs> any other any other magic? Jazz hands. What are you doing? Leaving? <laughs> Still wondering where Gopher got that ice cream. <laughs> From the cold box. <laughs> where did he get the cold box? He pulled it out from under the cask. <laughs> all right. Uh, besides all the things that that we found and sort out all magical things. There's anything else you see in this room? Apart from the non-magical stuff, uh, no. And the charred pieces oh, of paper that might have been useful. Oops. Oopsie. You know, do anything. Did I do that? So basically, reach a dead end of... I mean, there is this other pathway over here. We have found nothing. We don't know that they can use dead bodies as marionettes and to look out for those. What other path? That's pretty talking? valuable information. He's talking about the other path in the sewer. Mm. We still have to find out stuff about the bomb, right? Bomb. Wasn't that what? A thing? Bomb? Smitty's making the bomb. For oh. them. Okay, what's our main goal for this? Because it seems like we just came in here aimlessly. Okay, well, so the... to, to oh, clarify hi. on the initial reason why you came in here was to, A, uh, grab any devices that they might have been using to, uh, or that, that Smitty was constructed. Second was to attempt to find the headquarters of the Sparks. Because that's where the bomb's going to be going. Your initial plan was to take the bomb to them and detonate it at the headquarters. Mm. Mm. I guess the next thing we should do no, is... No, the plan was to let them take it and detonate it. Well, you would have to follow them to it. That was the other thing. Was You either find out where it was or you follow them to it. And most of all the documents has been burned up in these yeah. two rooms. I don't know who could have done that. <laughs> As you see over the burned candle wax on the ground. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear. I guess while we're at it, we should probably take these on blades then, because Smithy constructed them, right? Might as well. 
gonna All right. it's gonna add uh t- those ones with the blades are 20 pounds each so that's 60 pounds so three on blades 405 yep. or 415 415 the head. 15 because <laughs> <Yep. laughs> is there anything in here that's worth five more pounds to make 420 <laughs> yes uh if you take a number of bottles probably yes <laughs> What about 69? Is there 69 of anything we can put in here? For 469? What the fuck is that? What's the bottle weigh? Not so, much. Uh, <laughs> I'll say we're, we're kind of somewhat got to our goal. But <laughs> Glass bottle weighs two pounds. Cut one and a half. Easy. A bottle with a, a full thing of liquid, I'm going to assume, is probably like five pounds. So now what, guys? I think we somewhat kind of reached a goal. We got wait all the equipment that's... Wait for the bomb to be finished. Yeah. They were using this to move ill-gotten goods. I doubt this is their only one, but it is definitely one. The only issue now is that they might be on high alert, but... I mean, they definitely will be. Because none of the bodies were the people we. Was any of them? Could we tell the person we saw come up and eat? Uh. Yes, he was uh, the one that had. He was one that had black hair. Uh, though they aren't necessarily like super distinct from each other, mm-hmm. you could definitely recognize him. The th- problem is you do not see either of the people that were on the ship that came with the uh, with the owner and you do not see the owner amongst these people hmm because in, f- <clears throat> the owner is probably still up in his bar question yes how what is the um, the split between marionettes and actual dudes that we brutally murdered is are all of these do guys like Mary were all of the marionettes were the only any of ones them... that had wires attached to them that acted more like marionettes where their limbs would just retract back into place were the two dead people that were that were then attached the rest of them moved, acted, and uh, they, apart from the lack of reaction and the were, glassy expression and the glassy expression, they were definitely alive. Okay. Um, whether they were under control like a marionette is hard to depict. Okay. Because I was going to say, um, don't know if I should say this as Jacqueline or not. Sure. Um, after, after, like, snapping yourself out of the trance of where in the world <laughs> go forgot that freaking box, um, she had, Jacqueline had a thought. Might be right, might be wrong, who knows. Um, well, given that some of these casks were had, you know, uh, various valuables and weapons and armors and stuff in it, and it looks like a wine cellar of sorts, this is probably where they smuggled things. And does what would the possibility be, or does anyone else think that all of these men? that were here were planted here just to protect their armory. Well, that would most likely be the case, I think. That's a high chance. Yes. And how many more of these... Because you don't put all your armor and stuff in one place. No. How many more do you think there are with these puppet men in them? As many they can possibly make with their 
uh, mount resources. They have disposal. That's my guess. So the number is unknown. And I mean, but, it would also depend on how much how much a city's worth to them. Because I mean, if they felt like they had pretty good control here over another nether winter maybe there's only one or two in the city because they don't feel like they need it hmm. well surely they would put more here than if they don't feel like they're in trouble wouldn't you hide your stuff or you're not going to get found well it's not necessarily let's say like water deep where they're much more active they would definitely need more bots. More resources. <laughs> it's all based on... It's not even how much they can make. It's their priorities. Those we don't know. Because for all we know, they might have. They could honestly. They could only have this one here because they only felt they needed the one. Or maybe they're still set, trying to set up more. They haven't been able to. We don't. circle back to where we started we totally have and standing here does us nothing and the longer we hear no. the more likely we are to be found so i recommend we leave now i second that because there's nothing more we can do here i mean i had I mean... a higher thought to what i was trying to say but i completely forgot what it was <laughs> <laughs> we could try to sneak attack the owner but that's it and i don't think that's worth it at the moment that's asking for trouble and make it up <laughs> and meowth do we want to take these bodies and also dump them in the sewage though quick i think it might take way too much time to do so i suggest not to Nobody else has anything to say? It'll make no difference if they're here or there. Well, Either I mean, they're missing or they're dead. It's... There's plenty of blood everywhere. Unless you want to start scrubbing, Felix, I recommend we just go. And also, we crack almost all the uh, that too. bags here, so... <laughs> and all the doors, <laughs> and everything's on fire. <laughs> the other room is still on fire as you're talking about well maybe we're gonna sneak our way out of here <laughs> maybe they won't notice <laughs> we have vending are you gonna really started? mend paper back together though i mean the paper is a different thing <laughs> you're, gonna mend, you're gonna mend the table <laughs> back. <Fall> behind <laughs> the jack <jackal> heads on <laughs> How much time do you think you got for, for mending? <laughs> do you have the materials to do that? <laughs> Let me, let's dismantle a keg. <laughs> yeah! Perfect cover. <laughs> we'll fix everything, we'll scrub the bloodstains away, we'll hide all the bodies, it'll be like they just left. <laughs> they don't have time for this. Mending alone would take like a couple of hours. Yeah. Time to skedaddle. I concur, Kellen. <laughs> I do you get where you're coming from, though. It's because trying to make it look like either it was like a bombardment or something. Not like a planned, organized attack. Just like a fucking war between two people or something. Yeah. It does look like... It looks like two rooms exploded and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose everything. that's fair enough. The carnage <laughs> alone make it more confusing. Another topic that 
I suppose, should be discussed before we return. Will the Sparks think that this was an attack perpetrated by our contact? It most likely could be. There is a chance for that. I feel well, like they may question him, but I don't think they'll... that he did it. Either way, it doesn't matter, because we are going to be there. And we don't exactly look like commoners. I mean... What are you talking about? Look how common I look. <laughs> very common. Very blue, suddenly, too. <laughs> oh, yes. It's there uh, just adventurers staying at his inn. Mm-hmm. So we're immediate, we immediately we attack them. I believe he's speaking in sarcasm. What does that taste like? It's... Felix? No. We have no guarantees. If you want to go somewhere else and tr have us pay to stay there, that is a decision we can make. As we would leave. But... If we don't want to try to do anything about this, uh, I, suggest I do think we should start leaving. Yes, at least we can agree on something. But wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> As you go to leave, take a step out of this room. Crackles of the stone beneath you from the door that was caved in by Gopher. You hear a whirring behind you and the bodies start to rise up from the ashes again. <laughs> and again. No, the owners No, you hear Gopher... <laughs> As he finishes his ice cream. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know why he'd, he'd make that noise, but it's like, guys, I'm eating ice cream. <laughs> it's yeah, definitely he's been outside of the box too long. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely melted at this point. <laughs> no, nothing happens. Easily enough, you make your way out. Are you going through the ladder, or are you going back through the grate? The long way. Yeah. We ain't going through the ladder. We can't go through there. <laughs> we don't want to sneak attack the owner. We ain't going to go up there. Okay. <laughs> going back to the grate. Mason. Hmm? You're, you're, you're just like... A disembodied head. <laughs> yes. I got these as well. Ooh. Um, Where did they come from? <laughs> okay, they're resting their hands on the, on the frames of the stream. Ooh. Yes. Um, way over there. Getting to the grate. <laughs> he went that way. After it's <laughs> been about uh, 25 minutes, Ooh. you can definitely see that the grate has fixed itself. Woohoo! Or fixed itself. Yeah. Another blast in session. It'll right. run out of metal eventually. <laughs> and away we go. Yep, easily enough. You spend about a minute to two minutes just blasting a corner of this. And it opens up. You slide out without having to touch it, and you go around. Back in from the uh, from the eastern entrance. Uh, are you carrying the bottles in Felix's backpack? I thought when you took all the out except for two. Oh uh, well, there was thirteen in total. That I took the bottle away. You put those. They all go back in my bag. How much is a bottle weigh, Tyler? Uh, a full bottle of liquid is going to be about uh, five pounds. An empty right, we'll bottle take one is bottle. two pounds. We'll take one bottle put in my bag of holding. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> there oh. we go, guys. We did it. Nice. <laughs> Next goal. What is this? A bottle of something? <laughs> a bottle uh, of liquid. <laughs> bottle of liquid. Magic right. bottle of liquid. Ooh. Magic bottle of pee. Okay. okay. There we go. Now, 420. Alright. <laughs> Making it through the eastern entrance, back to the, uh... Making your way back towards the Barrow's Touch. Everyone's going back, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. No, I like that room. Okay, cool. I'm uh... Going back. <laughs> 
Making your way back to the Barrow's Touch, everybody enters in, and... Nobody exits. Apart from Smitty, the rest of this room is empty, other than an individual that most of you recognize oh. as the owner of the pub. Oh. And with that, we will call this an evening. Mm-hmm. Well. Here we are. What Why in the world was back? that? <laughs> That's uh, it was uh, quite the experience. Uh huh. Assassins, man, they're they're rude. I was talking about the shenanigans that went on. There was a lot of shenanigans, but I knew there was going to be some. It's been a hot minute since we played. And it's been an even hotter minute since I played. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, all right. With that, we'll see you all again on another Miss Roll Adventure. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.